Hello. Hello, everybody. We are continuing our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal TM. We, last time, failed at catching a Farfetch'd because the catch rates are evil in this game. Huh? And we also, I believe, beat the fighting gym, got the fly, a gym, beat the steel gym after we healed the lighthouse Pokemon, came here, quelled the rage of the lake of rage, got ourselves a red shiny Gyarados, mandatory, given to everyone, helped Lance defeat a cell of rockets, and now we are on our way to beating up this gym. Let us see what this gym is. Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym Leader Price, the teacher of winter's harshness. Hey, Hotspot, it's time to kill! Yay! Would rock beat ice? Wait, we need to heal. Why didn't I heal? I could have sworn I healed. Why is Brock hurt? Brock shouldn't be hurt. Why is Brock hurt? It doesn't make sense. But, my question is, I think ice beats ground type? Ice would also probably beat grass, but we don't have that. We have rock... We have a guy that looks like grass, but is actually rock and not grass at all. A.K.A. Satan. Uh, Queen, Merlin, so basically... And I think ice would also devastate owl. Eh. Actually... Uh, for testing purposes against the normal gym trainers. Please don't have level 30 plus gym trainers. Oh, it's, it's, it's a puzzle time. Oh, no. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. He's said to be good at freezing opponents of ice type moves. That means you should melt him with your burning ambition. Hello. Check out my parallel turn. What? Parallel turn? Oh, you're a skier. Skier Clarissa wants to battle. Waha. Huh, okay, not terrible, but I do believe, well... I'm trying to think. Oh, I think somebody tanked an Aurora Beam. And I think this guy is... Mostly water type, but screw it. I haven't seen them use a water type water move yet. Hot spot. Let's go and have some fun. Let's see if it. Let's see what a fire attack does against this guy. Ember. So it bounces out to normal, and it burnt, and it burned him. Yay. Oh no. Okay, not that bad. All things considered. And I guess I'll just throw smoke screen at it. I'll throw two or three smoke screens because it'll just get burned to death. <laughs> I'm gonna cheese you the fuck out. <laughs> I just real. Ah, I forgot. Leer at him a few times, and then we'll quick attack him a bit. I forgot that recovery is one of their favorite things. All right. Oh, sleep overrides burn? Sleep overrides burn? That's bullshit. This is bullshit. I am angry! But yeah, that, that is honestly shenanigans. That is some shenanigans that... Sleep overrides burn. I'm guessing it's probably like a limitation of the game? In which it can't save a previous diddly D. It can't be like, oh, this Pokemon had burn and went to sleep, but didn't cure burn, so we need to put burn back in place. I don't think it has that. That is some shenanigans. 
Hopefully rest is a five power point move. Now it's just, screw it, time to rage at the heavens of quick attacks. So that it kind of locks itself into, oh, if I don't rest, I will... He wakes up and immediately decides to rest. This has to be a quirk. Okay, let's see if we can lower your defense even more. You jerk. I thought I was the one cheesing him the fuck out. He's the one cheesing me the fuck out. Chokes on him. I have more moves than rest. If only used headbutt previously. Let me guess, now you're gonna use rest, or are you out finally? Are you out? I think he's out. Congratulations! Out of all of that, he used growl like twice and uh, two or three headbutts. What the hell? That was one of the funkiest battles I've had. And it was only one Pokemon! No, you made me wipe out! You are wasting my time! <laughs> okay, that, that, that speed up was funny. I just realized. Oh, double realized! Oh, I'm so happy. Now that we have Fly, we can get to Kurt super easily. Even though I'm going to have to look for those other apricorns. So that I can maximize my apricorn profits and maybe give some berries to Moo Moo. I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing! Did they increase the chance of freezing from 10%? My dude, Ronaldo? I'm gonna get lamed the fuck out again. Since I know that fire doesn't work well against seal, I'm gonna just bash my head against it. You did 10 damage. Good for you. Headbutt. The queen is on a rampage! And you flinched. No laming out for you. <laughs> and a critical hit. The queen said, fuck this seal. Oh no. It's the only ice type in this game, Dugong! I am angry! I, I'm sick of this sea! I sent out the wrong Pokemon. I meant to send out Owl, and I sent out the wrong Pokemon. Hey, screw it. Queen and Hotspot can share the experience for this one. Time to lame you the fuck out now. You missed, you suck, headbutt, flinch, you stupid, sealed dugong. <laughs> fuck you. The queen is the killer whale. You are the dolphin getting smacked. You should have rested, but you didn't. Now you just need to arrest your developments. I don't know. I've never watched that show. I don't even know. I'm just saying things and leveling up. You know, here's an idea, maybe. All my Pokemon are on the brink or at level 30. I could try level 30 Battle Tower? I think I'm gonna try level 30 Battle Tower. Level 30 Queen, Merlin, and Hotspot? Booyah, I think so. I think yes. Unless level 30 is the cap, but I think it said, like, oh, exceeds. And seriously, is Seal and Dugong the only ice type in this entire game? I'm angry. Yeah. So yeah, we're actually not going to finish off this gym just yet. We're going to try level 30 at the Battle Tower. Since we're at, like, the perfect level for it.
Darn, I couldn't do a thing. You kind of could. You just sucked. Okay. Fly? Can we fly directly to the battle tower? We cannot. So yeah, we're gonna head to the battle tower. We're gonna rest. Bike over to the battle tower. Put in Scar, Owl, and Brock. And face the level 30 battle tower so long it isn't like, oh, you're at level 30. You don't get to do the level 30 battle tower. Because I think it's like, how it functions is that is the maximum level for that one you can do. So let's see, we can try. I'm gonna try. It's a new thing. And since I'm at like the perfect level for it, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Here's a question. Why is it when I'm changing a box, I have to save my game? And when, like, I'm taking out a Pokemon, I have to do it. No, do you have to do it when you take out a Pokemon? Yeah. All right. Can I do the level 30 battle tower? Now that I have, like, level 29s and level 30s. Okay, sure. We'll save. Is it to make sure that I don't cheese the game? Level 30? Yay! Battle tower! I didn't know we were going to do a battle tower today. It just came to me. Battle tower! Please step this way. Okay, I'm not fooling around. Three v three. Beauty Frost sent out Gengar. Fucking bitch. At the very least, if she tries to do the thing, I can lame her the fuck out. Aye, 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 that's a lot of damage. And I don't really have anything except Psychic for the part Poison, but he has Shadow Ball. And, well, actually, yeah, he just has Ghost-type regardless. Here's an idea, let's try this. And pray that he doesn't have that many attacks. Can't do it, but I can, surf. So at the very least, it doesn't seem like this Gengar has things, but it has Giga Drain for some reason. And it does a ton of damage. So yeah, this Gengar is apparently competitive IV levels. I think they didn't have IVs, EVs until later. Why is it doing so little damage? Game! <laughs> Teach me how to play the battle tower! Items can't be used here. Because we hate you. Ah, but she can use items. That Gengar is quite the item, after all. There's like nothing I can do because they sent out the perfect fuck you Pokemon. The perfect fuck you Pokemon. I swear if that's, oh, your Pokemon's paralyzed, I'm gonna say shenanigans. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and you had a berry. A gold berry at that. So, yeah, I'm just fucked. I don't think I like the battle tower. Because this Gengar is just hard for no reason. And there's literally nothing I can do against it. It has all the perfect items. Freaking gold berry. I only got one gold berry. Why does this random hoe have a gold berry? Not to mention, kind of stupid. 
Like, no way. It's probably because you hacked in your Gengar. Bitch. Let's try again, maybe. Because that was fucking stupid. Goldberry Gengar. And also, the level thing is stupid in its own right, too. Because it's just like, level 30, where you will only be facing level 30 opponents and not up to level 30, like you are limited to. Unless it's the same bitch. Well, it depends if you're a bullshit asshole character the game throws at me. Send out Porygon 2. I don't even know what typings you are. Smoke screen. Frickin' Hyper Beam! What can learn Hyper Beam that fucking early? Hello and welcome to bullshit. So yeah. This battle tower seems stupid. Just entirely. They have Hyper Beam. You don't. Yeah, quite honestly, that's stupid. Why does it know Hyper Beam? Is it a natural move? And is it 100% accuracy at that? <laughs> What are the secrets to this fucking game? That's the real question. What are the rewards for this a nightmare? <laughs> Most battle tower things are end game. Then why is it a level 30 level? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> it's end game. Ah yes. That's why it can be accessed. About a level around the level 20 stage. And has level 10 areas. He's just shenanigans. This doesn't seem well thought out. So I'm guessing those are actually level 50 Pokemon and level 30 coats. Which is stupid. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Like, you just expect it to actually function, and it just doesn't. Because it has late game moves on level 30 Pokemon. Which is stupid. It's supposed to be a thing, if you can encounter it this early... Why? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. It feels more like it should be a thing where you can actually do it at that level. But you can't, which is stupid. <laughs> if you can't do the thing at the level it is advertising, why does it exist? The level cap produces any mon to it. That's not what that bitch said. <laughs> that bitch is just like, actually, your Pokemon exceed this cap, so you can't do it. It could be a crystal thing, but I tried. I was like, oh, can I do this? Nope, you can't do it. <laughs> You need to have Pokemon at that level, as far as I am aware. Or else, I have no idea why my three-party team couldn't do it. Because <laughs> I had Pokemon in like the 20, like, 24s, like below level 30, and I tried to do the level 20, did not let me in. It specifically said, sorry, your Pokemon exceed the cap. So that is why, that is what informs my, oh, this is bullshit meter. If I am wrong, and somehow, you actually can reduce your level to actually fight with high level stuff, but just reduce the level cap, I will take everything back. But as far as I am aware, the NPC told me, oh sorry, too high level, can't go. This gym has a slippery floor. No duh. It's fun, isn't it? Depends how much of an annoyance the puzzle is.
I am all for eating my words. Huh, swin ups in this generation. Cool. But I'm all for eating my words if indeed there is a way to be like, oh, you're high level Pokemon, we can reduce their level to this level cap. But as far as I am aware, that is not how it functioned for me when I tried it last time. Ah, it usually reduces. Maybe it only starts doing that in Generation 3. More than likely, I could see that being a Generation 3 only thing. Like, like it's a... Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> we kind of messed up there. <laughs> Hello there, loading personality. How are you this evening? I'm annoyed at the apparent failings of Generation 2 Battle Tower. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to look it up. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I will look it up, since it's a Smidub. I will look it up. Generation 2, Pokemon Crystal Battle Tower. I'll learn the do's. The diddly do's. And Ember, will it endure? It didn't even get to endure. Bye-bye, Swinubs. <laughs> My anger eats you. And fills you. Do you see how serious we are? I don't know, I crushed you. I'm gonna, gonna set my set my Pokemon Center over here. Just because. Get my power points back. Because honestly, I would be happy if I was wrong and you can do the reduce your Pokemon level to actually play the Battle Spire and get all the things. But something tells me that it's just a load of barnacles. And then I can fight. No! I messed up, but at least I can retrace my steps. Mwaha! To get to Price, our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. I guess. I'm still gonna beat you all. I'm doing it for the experience and the money. You only have one Pokemon! Roxanne! Get back into the Pizza Plex! That's honestly a funny thing. Right as I decide, I'm gonna play Pokemon. There's a Pokemon character <laughs> named Roxanne. Now, go hot spot. Burn. Wait, <laughs> did they seriously already update Jinx's skin color in Crystal? Did they update it that fast? Fast, but still. Not great. Now it's slapping my weasel. Come on, leave my leave my Quilava alone. He's a good boy. Do I have a do I have a berry? Do I have a berry? I might have a berry. Do I have a berry? But it's just a single Pokemon battle, so I don't care. I'll, 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 I'll take the damage. There's a Pokemon Center right around the corner. I'll take the double slap. Wow, the Battle Tower seems even more shenanigans than I thought if this is anything to go by. All Pokemon must be less than or equal to the level of the Battle Challenge. Uh, yeah, the Battle Challenge. Levels are in intervals of 10, and the player can only choose between levels 50 to 100 after going into the Hall of Fame. Nope, they think level 30 Hyper Beam is totally... A fine thing! 
Jesus Christ Generation 2. <laughs> the Battle Tower is bullshit this generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's why they eventually later did the thing of, oh yeah, we'll, we'll let you lower your Pokemon's levels to the dedicated level so that, you know, the Pokemon that you're actually investing TMs in and, like, investing your time and effort into can actually do this challenge. And then... <laughs> like, it's like, it just, like, it makes sense to do that. It's kind of annoying to have to go out and capture specific Pokemon and raise them specifically to be able to take on the Battle Tower. It's just much, much more nice to just be able to go, here are the Pokemon I want to use. And then just be able to use them. It's so, so silly. That is the silliest thing I've ever seen. And I've already fought a Farfetch'd that refused to be caught. So yeah, <laughs> looks like I'm not doing the Battle Tower. Later generations, sure. This generation, no. <laughs> looks like you can abuse the level 10 challenge. Dragon Rage will one hit most and two hit any in the level 10 challenge. But I can't go into the level 10 challenge because it won't lower my level. <laughs> and I, well, unless you can like teach a Pokemon Dragon Rage. The only Pokemon I've had that has Dragon Rage is my Garidu Scar. Oh boy, Cloyster! Oh. Well, that's interesting. Who shall we go? I send Merlin. Go. Hopefully the cloister doesn't know bite. Psybeam. How dare you? You're a monster. How dare you protect yourself? Thank God, he's like, I'm going to do nothing but protect myself. Fight me, you giant clam! Oh, no, that's just me. Well, yeah, this is kind of why I'm playing through the Pokemon games in this order that I am. It's so that I can go... They finally fixed the thing. In Generation 1, I was just like... <laughs> from Generation 1 to Generation 2, I was like, Yay, they fixed Gust being a normal type and Karate Chop being a normal type move. Now, next generation, I can be like, Ah, I can finally do the Battle Tower. The secret behind Bryce's power is he meditates under a waterfall daily to strengthen his mind and body. It just sounds like that would just wear out your body. Sounds like a silly thing to do. But yeah, I would I'm I would be in fear of the people that can legitimately do Generation 2 Battle Tower. Because that means specifically and meticulously training Pokémon. Like, specifically. In this one way. If only that one guy would move, but wait. No. Need to think out this puzzle. The only way, it seems... Uh, 
How difficult? My puzzle is the greatest! Your puzzle sucks, dude! It's just like, how do I get there? Obviously, I need to get to that patch. How do I get to that patch? Just zoop down. Ah. <laughs> Fight me. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born, and do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. The prizes are all vitamins. So I'm not really missing out on much. That kind of... Because you'd think that you'd want to use, like, vitamins or, like, those, like, carbos and protein to beef up your Pokemon so you could actually take on the Battle Tower. And then you go beat the Battle Tower and you're just like, but these are the things I used to get here. And screw you, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not gonna be lamed out by another Dugong Seal. Are there seriously only, like, three Ice types in this game? I mean, that would kind of make sense because there were only, like, three ghost types in this first generation. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised, Psybeam. Kill the seal! Kill the seal! Bash it to death with your spoon! Is about to send out Dugong. Also, the question is, I wonder where the experience share is. I wonder where it is. I ponder. I ponder my orb! Go, Queen! Headbutt this dugong! There's like five dugong in this frickin' place! Please don't freeze my furret! Good, it just lowered her speed. Please don't freeze the furret! Use headbutt, schmick. And you can take another. But yeah, overall, Battle Tower just seems like a weird addition in this game. Maybe they were just like, we have to appeal to our... <laughs> to the competitive fans. But the prizes could be better, but maybe they just didn't want to make people feel like they were forced to do it, but then they would actually tell you, because there's like, ooh, you get cool prizes. Not cool enough, if you ask me. You get... Motherfucking Dugum. But, yeah, you, you get better prizes by gambling at the game corner. And it's basically just as RNG. Yeah, because I have... I would honestly... Dear God... You want a super challenge? Hey, Nuzlocker's out there. I challenge you to do Generation 2 Battle Tower Nuzlocke. It's basically a Nuzlocke with all the Nuzlocke rules, with the main goal not being beat the Elite Four and complete the game, but specifically to beat the Battle Tower. But if your Pokemon faint in the Battle Tower, you're done. Get out. I, why is this guy weaker than the lady with the level 35 Steelix? I already forget her name. Claire? You can't. I was gonna be like, can you freeze him? I hope not. My boy, my boy does not want to be frozen today. Wow, I pity your moveset if all you have is the not very effective icy wind. <laughs> Never mind, he was just lowering my speed. No! Oh! Do not freeze the weasel! And now, the opportunity. Quick attack! You bitch! <laughs> How dare you! Even I didn't use a hyper potion! Ah! 
And you missed. Mwaha. Suck it. Like... Cousin It Mammoth? If it knows Fury Attack, why, why Fury? It knows Fury Attack. Chose to do Blizzard. I guess Blizzard was doing, like, tons of damage, but still. I think Bryce is as confused as I am. That was an odd battle. Yeah. Oh, Bryce, not Bryce. Well, I mean, P is an up upside down B, really. Or would that be D? Brain is on fire. Uh, I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Yay! I receive the Glacier Badge, and now I should be able to use Whirlpool outside of battle? Raise the special stats of Pokemon. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. Let me guess, it's Blizzard. Oh, I see wind. It inflicts damage and lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshness of winter. Okie doke. Now the question is, who gets that, and who gets Whirlpool? Oh, hey, Professor Realm. Neon, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Neon, do you know anything about it? Yeah, I, I, I busted them with Lance. Lance helped. Maybe Team Rocket has returned. That just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. I guess I should probably go back to Goldenrod, because there was that... No, no, no. No plan. Gather Apricorns. Go to Kurt. Gather the Apricorns that he was already making. And give him more. I know where most of them are. In fact, come to think of it, I think... Yeah, the... Some of the apricorns are just right across here. Get out of the way, fat man. You're in my you're in my ideal surfing spot. We saw Suicune here last time. But that's the one thing I I want to know the end of that because we haven't even been able to co go after the legendary dogs yet. They just don't exist. Like maybe, maybe, maybe I have to actively search out. Those little places. Because there were weird little places. Little alcoves in cities or other places. Like the, that random <laughs> Pokemon Center. So yeah, that's one thing. So first we're going to... Because I think we can go here and go down for more Apricorns. And then go to Azalea to turn them in. But I think... New plan gonna quickly put away the apricorns that I have. Not in Bill's PC, he doesn't take items. In my PC, because I'm near the item limit, last I checked. So, put away, put away the apricorns. And, well, that works too. Don't know why he decided not to go all the way. And now we will head down. Grab those other apricorns, fly to Azalea. Because the, they should be around here somewhere. It's just down here. Get out of the way, fat Pokemaniac. Not Pokemaniac, but Pokefan. Pokes. I'm trying to think, where is. There's that other one, so it's not here. This is all the way to Azalea. I'm trying to think. Maybe it was... Well, we can't fly in here. It's due to the trees. That is some shadow. Where are those ones that I'm trying to think of? Maybe they are down from Violet? It has to be. Here, apricorns. Can you spare some apricorns for me? Right, grab the berry. Grab the berry. 
If I was smart, I would memorize where the normal berry trees are, so I could uh, help Moo Moo for whatever the hell we get there, but pfft, then we'd probably just get, I don't know, that uh, milk drain move that Whitney abused against me. Because I think it's down here. It's a little off the ways, honestly. Might have been faster to go from Azalea to there. But I don't know. THE ABOMINATION MUST DIE! Now and forever, Bell sprout my enemy. You will die. Be gone. You are sacrificed to the nightmare. Goodbye. My mortal enemy has perished. Until he's reincarnated, in which we will kill him again. We must now celebrate. Uh, hello, lady. Yahoo! It's Friday! I'm Frida Friday! Nice to meet you! Here's a poison barb for you! What? Give it to a Pokemon that has poison-type moves! Oh, it's wicked! You'll be shocked how good it makes poison moves! Okay, just random... So yeah, not over here. Where the hell are those... Well, that solves what that is. Random day people show up in those alcoves. Nice to know, but I still don't know where my frickin' apricorns are. Are they? Where's the apricorns? They're to the left of Ecritique, aren't they? They're probably to the left, aren't they? To the left of Ecritique? I do not know! <laughs> Nope, they're down from Ecritique. I'm dumb, you see. I have a terrible memory. All I know is it's like, it was down. Down from town. That's all I remembered. <laughs> and now, please, don't make me go back. Give. Yay. Now I can fly to Azalea. Just fill up my pack with uh, apricorns. And get apricorns made. A bit of a time sink, but we get decent Pokeballs with it, I believe. But yeah, interesting to know that those alcoves are for secret random day people. Did not know that. Now first things first, we're going to deposit the apricorns that we have, and then take the ones that we have the most of. We don't have a poison type that I care about, so be gone. Poison Barb would be nice to have a poison, but then, then again, poison types aren't really that good as far as I know. Yeah. Let's see. We have three black, three blue, one white, two, two, two. So... Yeah, because I think we gave... We gave him red apricorns last time. So I think we'll give him blue apricorns this time. And we can pick up that uh, white apricorn that's behind his house. Yes. Semi-efficient apricorn grinding, not really. Ah, Neon, I just finished your ball, here. Level ball. I wonder what that is. That turned out great. Try catching Pokemon with it. All right, let's see. Have make me blue apricorns. It'll take a day to make me... <laughs> That's the one downside. It's such a time sink. I get it. They were like, we have a cool system for days and nights. So different Pokemon appear at different times. And we can make people wait a day to do things. And now let's see, what are the new balls we got? Level ball. A ball for lower level Pokemon. And then a ball for catching fast Pokemon. So they don't really give the specifics. Like, is it a specific uh, level difference between my Pokemon and that Pokemon? Or what? And then the fastball, is it like speed stat or turns? Because I think later speed ones are like 
throw them on first turn and do things, but let's go to Goldenrod. Well, actually, I'm going to go back to New Barktown and talk to Professor Elm himself, because... Where is my uh, my XP share? It would just make efficient my switch grinding. Ah, that's stolen Pokemon. I wonder how it's doing. They say a Pokemon raised by a bad person turns bad itself. Neon, I'll call you if anything comes up. I want the level experience share! Well, now let's go uh, beat down on Team Rocket anymore. Beat down on the depressed Mafia. Pokemon, they're nothing more than tools for money. Didn't I beat you up? Take over the radio tower. What? It's none of your business. So this is the radio tower. Hello, I'm sorry, but we're not offering any tours today. Well, I'm going to make my own tour. We've finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. How scary we are? Oh no, you're going to send a rat -a at me? Oh, it's Eradicate. Good for you. Peck its eyes out. Oh no, not the tail whip. Let's see how much damage Fly does. Aha, you missed your hyper fang, see? And it, because it used quick attack, it doesn't... And, well, that was productive, wasn't it? Everybody missed! Woohoo! I just want to see how powerful... I guess I could look at its actual stats. But I'm lazy, and I constantly forget to do menu things. Man, that was decent damage. Peck out its eyes. Yes. Booyah. Level up owl. Who's next? Another Raticate. Hey, Brock, get some levels in. Yes, I named him Brock because I'm trying to give most of my Pokemon a name. And I'm just like, to expedite things, just... How do you miss a rock slide? Your accuracy is terrible, Brock! Decent. Then again, I could have just kicked it because it's normal type. Could've just kicked it because it's normal type. Why do you miss everything? You have the accuracy of a rock at that. Except not because you can throw a rock pretty decently. Well, not you, but somebody else. What is wrong with you? Too strong. We must watch you. Just like this audience here. Right, Rocket? Would Rocket Raccoon join Team Rocket just for theme's sake? Why would they want to take over the radio tower? Huh? Today's password? Help, of course! <laughs> okay, that was funny. Ha ha ha! How boring! It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused! You're gonna regret that. You Jesse looking poser. Huh, sent out. You sent out like the one Pokemon that gr grunts have that Brock isn't like super effective against. Okay, you tell me, how the hell is biting a rock not. You can bite a rock and it's just like, I did damage to the rock. It's a rock! I get it, it's a different type, it's a rock type, but seriously? Biting a rock? Yeah. Also, how do you make a rock flinch? 
makes no sense. Just raise there's too many questions and you only had one Pokemon, I forgot. Who who are you? Didn't they tell you about the girl with pigtails that annihilated your base in mahogany? Mahogany. The real question is, are all the buildings in mahogany made of mahogany? We're Team Rocket, the exploiters of Pokemon! We love being evil. Scared? You're a Saturday morning cartoon villain. And like, not even as... That's a lot of... Time to kick a rat. <laughs> At moments, it's like, oh, that's a lot of Pokemon. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, it's because it's a rocket and they're all going to suck. Kick the rat. Kick the rat. <laughs> Why is your accuracy so bad? It's like every other move he misses. But he's my only rock type. I would have gone for Steelix, but it's a trade Pokemon! Ah! Kick the rat! Oh hey, it's Focus Energy, except in this generation, it probably actually does what it's supposed to do. And raises your special whatever, and not lower it. In series where you can bite a god, what do you expect? Fair. <laughs> Fair enough. This guy, this guy is the real Ratatouille. Hey guys, we found Bruno! Seven foot frame, rats along his belt in Pokeballs. He's about to send out another Ratata! Today was the day that Brock decided I'm going to kick rats. Why do you need to kick ass when you can just kick rats? Now let me guess, eradicate? Just eradicate, why? <laughs> You're just the rat man. He's the rat man. Dibba 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 dab dibba doo. Blasting off again. God, man, now I want, like, okay, I am going to set down my controller for a moment because I just got, like, the most brilliant idea. I want a God Hand Pokemon game. I want a Pokemon game in which you're tasked with defeating Team Rocket and you, like, control the Pokemon in a beat-em-up 3D gameplay and you can get crazy cutscenes by sending Team Rocket and their Pokemon blasting off again through windows and stuff. Give me that game! <laughs> I want it! I want it so bad! Give it to me! Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband, but we're making a comeback here. God, I wish I could blast you out a window. It would be so satisfying. God damn it, now we have to rock slide the slime. The rat equivalent of all the Magikarp trainer. I already beat him. And the funny thing is, there was another Magikarp trainer. There's like Magikarp and then a, a Gyarados of the same level. So it's kind of like, oh, the Magikarp evolved mid-battle kind of thing. Which apparently uh, I read... Uh, for Generation 1, they emulated that same thing with Sabrina, the psychic gym leader, in which it goes Abracadabra Alakazam, because apparently it leveled up and evolved in the battle as well. So I was just like, that's the kind of vibe I got from that. So it would be kind of interesting if there was like a six Pokemon battle and it was just kind of meant to emulate, like, fighting the same Pokemon again and again and again, and then it levels up. as like a nice endurance thing. Oh no, the slime monster! Throw rocks at it! How the hell does slime harden? I don't want to know. Oh no. Throw rocks at it! How does slime pound? Also, I'm... <laughs> you thought you were gonna use a pound? 
Don't you know that it's weak? Do you have no attacks besides Pound that are even remotely effective, my dude? Also, apparently I was reading more, like, Pokemon TV tropes because when I get obsession about a thing, I'm just like, I'm gonna read the TV tropes on this thing! Apparently, later generations actually add in, like, an indicator. If you've fought a Pokemon before, it'll be like, oh yeah, these moves are effective against this Pokemon. And it's just like, that's super interesting. I'll have to experience it later, maybe. Glad, don't get cute! Bitch, I'm adorable. And you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. Because I don't even need to use my items against you fools. I don't even. Also, lady, why are you covering for them? Sorry, we're not taking <laughs> tours today. Are you in on it? Are you an evil intern? It hurts to see fishermen with Magikarp past the evolution point. Yep. And then it's extra hilarious when you run into a fisherman with a Gyarados below the evolution point. So it's just like, did you use a water stone on that? But at the same time, the guy with the Gyarados below the evolution point I fought was at the Lake of Rage. So it kind of works thematically because it's like, oh, the Magikarp are magically becoming Gyarados despite they shouldn't be. It's thematic. Hey, hey, keep out of our way. Hey, hey. Die. Yeah, you sent out a Zubat. A level 26 Zubat. Why? Rock slide. He's trying to bleed life from a stone. A Brock. Kill him. Murder him. Make him die. Bye-bye. Now time. Who should I level up now? Another Zubat. Oh no. I guess I'll start leveling up, leveling up Hotspot again. I can't, I, I swear to God, I can't wait to get that experience share. It would just be super nice. Burn the bat! Now I sound like a Batman villain. Come on, guys! We need to burn the Batman! Why? Confusion! My nemesis only second to uh, Generation 1 rap. Which is why I annihilated... Why I annihilated and will continue to annihilate every single Bellsprout I come across. Because they deserve to die. Now and forever. Now and forever, Billy! And now we get to go up. I should probably... S Another Silphco, man! Wait, they have a bunch of poison types. Merlin, it's time to do your assassinating! Oh dear, looks like I'm going murdering again. Hello. To trainers, Pokemon are their beloved partners. It's terrible by how Team Rocket is trying to control Pokemon. Huh, you're, you actually care. I've been giving strict orders. I'm to crush anyone who challenges Team Rocket. <laughs> I'm the protagonist. Four Pokemon, huh? Oh, time for murder! Psybeam. Using super effective attacks is so satisfying. I need to find a grass type! But then who do I get rid of? Honestly, at this point, probably Pseudowoodo. Probably Brock. He's not all that good. I'm just waiting for, like, someone, some time to come along. A grass type that I can catch without having to go back and level him up. That's probably now, now far. You know, it'd be kind of funny. Farfetched really should have been grass flying. Just like I thought Sudowoodo was grass rock. And he's just not. It's just funny to me. Yeah, we'll murder the Grimer.
Murder the Grimer. Go back into the grime. Go become lime. Lime scented care car freshener. It's a better fate. I don't know what I'm saying. What he says. What he says. <laughs> Playing the sound back to back was funny to me. It feels great ordering Pokemon to commit crimes. Be gay. Do crime. I'm still shocked that they have yet to make a Pokemon Team Rocket game. It just writes itself, man. You could even have Force Loss scenarios against Red. Oh! What if a Pokemon Team Rocket game where you're an underling to Jesse and James or Jesse and James XP's trying to learn Future Sight? Uh, is Future Sight any good? Is Future Sight any good? It's a setup attack, isn't it? Like, uh, you do it, and then it happens later. Future Sight? Do I want you? Because I like this setup. Shadow Ball, just because that way I can have my Psychic type be anti-Psychic type. I just found that funny. And I, I'm not getting rid of Teleport. I have Fly. And Teleport's kind of stupid indoors anyway. I have Fly. Do I want Teleport? Because teleport doesn't really work indoors. Because it's kind of a poor man's fly anyway. Because dig acts... Act, because essentially, as far as I understand it, dig is an escape rope as a Pokemon move. Teleport is a poor man's fly. And then fly is fly. Yeah, I don't think I need teleport. Bye-bye, Teleport. Bye-bye, Teleport. He learned Future Sight. It can be used in battle. You're kidding! I'm not. Now let's swap out and do something else. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's level up the queen! The HM slave! Turned royalty! It's truly an inspiring tale. Hello, Silphco. An unknown child wandering here. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. Fix your posture, man. Mark. Hey, everybody, it's Markiplier. Oddly enough, this might work. Sir. I think it works. Because it's steel type. Right? Or was it something else? No. It was Ember that is super effective against it. But somehow this still does tons of damage, so it works for me. I don't care. I'm killing it. Literally. Mwahaha! <laughs> Another Magnemite? I'm gonna send out my boy, Hotspot! Hotspot, kill the flying orb! Use your mohawk. Murder it. Yes. Yes. Bye-bye. Magnemite. 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 <laughs> Why do you have so many Magnemite, man? I just think they're neat. Am I going to have to do Marge Simpson for scientists from now on because of that random joke. Maybe. Jesus Christ. I took you too lightly. <laughs> I can transmit as strong a signal as I need from here. The Team Rocket boss has locked himself in, but the director can open it. He's up on the fifth floor. Please save him. Time to fight Marge Simpson again. Most excellent! This radio tower will fulfill our grand design! A single Pokemon. 
Oh no, it's a Porygon! He must have gotten it from the game corner and can't! Oh! Headbot! Decent. <laughs> it flinched! Headbutt the digital construct! Headbutt the digital construct! Oh no, it's try attack! That move that I only associate with Porygon. Booyah! Long live the queen! Hmm! All grand plans come with snacks! Do you honestly believe you can stop Team Rocket? Yes. 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 Especially considering most of you haven't even damaged me. I can just go by this guy as many times as I want. Whoa! Woohoo! 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 Finally! You plan to rescue the director? That won't be possible because I'm gonna beat you! Now that's funny. That's the Zubat! The level 22 Zubat! After I beat a Porygon. Level 30 Porygon. If I ever get a Porygon, what am I gonna name it? I don't know. I don't really think of using Porygons that much. Mainly because it's such a rare Pokemon, all things considered, it's hard to get. The only Porygon I know how to get is the Porygon from the Game Corner in Generation 1. Don't know how to get it anywhere else. Yay! And you can't put yourself to sleep to get rid of it, which I still think is bullshit. The frickin' dugong has got burned turn one, and I'm like, hell yeah. Then it put itself to sleep and cured its own frickin' burn. Because the game can't remember. For a moment there, I thought my ember did so little damage. No, it was just the burn, not my ember. <laughs> Wahoo! Trying to learn Flame Wheel! I think Flame Wheel is a good move. I think Flame Wheel is a good move, but I don't know what to get rid of. Honestly, if he's in a battle that needs Leer, I'm probably better off swapping to a different Pokemon anyway, all things considered. But Quick Attack is just a good finishing move. I could get rid of Smoke Screen, but Smoke Screen's kind of decent if you stack it. I guess I'll go with Leer. After all, I think Flame Wheel is a good move. I've heard good things about it from my random ponderings on the internet. The first victim of the Flame Wheel, I see. Go, Flame Wheel! Nice. Do not sludge my quill lava. And you poison him. Quick attack. No, unbelievable. I have to go heal my Pokemon. What a pain. Poisoning my Pokemon like that in a casual Pokemon battle, too. Man, these LARPers really take things seriously. Quick! Owl! Fly me! To Goldenrod City! That's the one down, like, it's the one downside to the size of the Pokemon franchise that I highly doubt that we'll get a, like, super dynamic 3D Pokemon game. At this rate, Pokemon Arceus is probably, like, the closest it's gonna get, more than likely. Which, I still cannot wait for Pokemon Arceus to get here. 
Because that'll be, it'll be... Sure, it'll be jumping ahead, but... As much as I hate to kind of chronologically break my playthrough, I am not going to miss the... Well, at the same time, I guess a lot of people will be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It'd just be cool to play the game on release. Now I wonder, who should I throw out there? I guess we'll level up Queen since she's nearby, and then we'll throw out Scar and see what he can do. Even though most of these things aren't really conducive. Why can't I go down? Sir, your your PC is too dummy thick. You! You came to rescue me! Is that what you were expecting? Wrong! I'm an imposter! I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover! Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you. But only if you can beat me. What fun! Ah, the rocket executive. Coffee. A level 30 coffee at that. Now this might be a challenge. Headbutt. Pop that balloon with your head. Oh no, the coughing thinks that he's Batman, but I'm Batman. Headbutt him. Mainly because one tier of smoke screen sucks. It just sucks. It's a mild annoyance, at most. See? Smokescreen sucks unless you pile it on. Batman, <laughs> when he needs to leave, throws down ten of them at the same time. Go, Scar! Get your revenge! How would a giant Gyarados even fit in this place? I was going to call him Scarlet, but then I forgot how to spell Scarlet, so I just called him Scar. Like, I'm sure I could have worked it out, but I want to name my Pokemon quickly. Now bite! Come on! Hey, come... You know what? Smokescreen should be a environment effect. It should be an environment effect that lowers the accuracy of the general Pokemon on the field. It just makes more sense. Keep biting him! Pop the balloon! Pop the balloon! Pop the balloon! I don't know. Coughing, 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 coughing. This entire place is going to emit damnation. It's going to be the third great expenditure of CO2 in the world at this rate. Just more Dragon Rage. Kill. 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 Ooh, a wheezy now. Dragon Rage. You disappoint me immensely, giant dragon bro. Dragon Rage! Looks like we're gonna have to heal the boy. Jesus Christ, we need to heal the boy! Thank God it didn't poison him right there, or else that probably would have killed him. Heal the boy! Dragon Rage! All things considered, I probably should have thrown out... I thought you were going to sludge again. Instead, you used the very much worse... Never mind. Your clever plan is to lay me the fuck out. Bite him already! Pop of the tumor! Of course it's a crit... Why are all my critical hits at the final bit of health that it won't matter?! And you know what? He's done his part. Merlin. <laughs> Time to just annihilate these fools. Level 30 coughing. Level 30 coughing. 
Level 30 coughing. My dude. Give yourself a cough drop. <laughs> Actually, that's funny. Cough, cough, cough. Wheeze. Cough. This guy just needs to sort out his allergies. <laughs> that's what it reads like. Cough, cough, cough. Wheeze. Cough, cough. <laughs> It's not a Pokemon. It's this dude. <laughs> He's trying to send a message. He's begging for help. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. We stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground. But I doubt you'll get that far. So that's what that door is for. Like, I knew that that door had to be something when I went through the underground. Does that mean I was meant to go through the underground now and not then? That would explain the Lickitung. That would explain why that Lickitung was ungodly beefy. An ungodly thick boy. And I'm just happy to see Team Rocket actually doing things. Again. They didn't really do that much. It's just like, they're doing something. And then they go do another thing, and we just keep stumbling upon them, as opposed to here, where there's actually a clear, like, through line. They're implied, and you can see them. And it's things. Does that mean that we have to go through the top or the bottom? We need to set up the team. We need to level up the Owl Boy, because we don't have access to the experience share. Can I fight you? Pokemon, they're nothing more than tools for making money. Looks like we're gonna have to go from the top. Okay, they're just, they're, they've taken, taken over the town. Would explain the Lickitung. The basement key, open the door. A basement in a basement? Wonders never cease. Lance? No, Carl. Hold it! I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need you underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second. You beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke. But I repay my debts. Oh boy, Carl. Time to beat up the Carl! Level 30, so I appear to be slightly underleveled, all, all things considered. Peck! Maybe I should use Fly. I should probably use Fly. Fly away! Of course, I used Confuse Ray, my mortal enemy. Behind Bell Sprout. Good job, boy! Eh, didn't do much. We're, we're, we're subbing in Merlin. You are transportation at this point, Owl, but we still need to level you up just in case. Jesus Christ. Be faster, please! In my defense, I did not expect a rival battle right here. Who's next? Sneasel, huh? Go. Hot spot. I forgot Sneasel exists in this game. I want one! Where do I get a Sneasel? And my internet died. Yay! The Sneasel froze my internet. What a ram rambunctious little scamp. But I shall repeat in case the people at live did not hear what I said. I want a Sneasel, but I don't know where to get one. Flame Wheel. How dare you screech in my poor boy's ear! It deserves better! Flame Wheel! And now, Quick Attack! Oh no, it's the Battle of the Quick Attacks! Who 
Who's next in line? Feraligator. Time for another rematch. Go, Queen! Last time you fought, Queen <laughs> flinched out the Croconaw. Will it happen again? Headbutt! Flinch the Feraligator! Damn it. But it missed its scary face. Headbutt again! The Queen that will conquer all. Water gun, huh? Just water gun. Headbutt again. I thought you might have something like the water equivalent of flame wheel. But no. And we're not even getting flinches for the funny, funny, funnies. <laughs> Brother, this man isn't here for funny lols at all. He's trying to kill me. About to send out Magnemite, huh? Time for another flame wheel. Melt the steel of the Magnemite! Flame wheel. Booyah! Critical hit. Every single time I get a critical hit, it basically is meaningless. And about to send out Haunter. Merlin's about dead, so let's lame him the fuck out with Queen! Queen's normal! That means that unless he has dark moves- <gasps> What if he has curse? Curse! Curse! Kill yourself of curse! <laughs> Kill yourself of curse, come on! Give me candy! <laughs> come on, your trainer AI! Give me candy! Aw, oh, it's mean look, which just means I can't swap him out. But that still is in line. Curse. 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 Come on. Give me l give me the funny lulls. Yay! That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> my favorite thing to do. <laughs> See a ghost type throw out queen and just watch as they implode. Why? Why did I lose? I've assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease up on the gas. So why did I lose? Cause you're a bitch! I don't understand. Is what Lat Lance guy said true? That I don't treat my Pokemon properly? Love. Trust. Dreams. Hope. Where do they come from? And where do they go? Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I... I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer! Well, now I have to go heal my Pokemon because he... he brought the thunder. Can I... can I bike down here, Professor Oak? God damn it. It's a tunnel! Let me ride my bicycle! Also, I find it funny that... I guess... Will this place actually fill up with... Stores? After I do all this? Because if I remember correctly, people are like... There are stores that open up down there. But the trainers are super strong and get in the way. So I'm scared to go down there. If I beat Team Rocket, will the stores actually open up? I hope so, because I, I think nice things would be down there, and I have lots of money. But I still want a Sneasel. Where do I get a Sneasel? My bad. My brain was just like, oh, we're in the underground. Go down. Because I was like, no, we have to go down the stairs of the underground. Stairs, and stairs, and stairs. Fight me, bitch! I don't care if you're lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. Harsh. A harsh, dude. And you have... Oh no. I'm going to be such the victim. 
at the hands of Rat. <laughs> what? <laughs> these gangsters, these mafia, the Yakuza, they talk big. And then they just send out a single rat. Uh, of course, you get a critical hit. Haha, <laughs> fool, you should have used quick attack, but you didn't. Because you're stupid. Uh, yeah, think you're cool, huh? I mean, I mugged you for your money, so yeah. What's that switch? Tell me your secrets. You must have ice in your veins to diss Team Rocket. It's labeled Switch 1. Let's whoop him. Maybe? Let's flip the switch. Flip that switch! Flip that switch! Yay! Not that cool, all things considered, because it's just a status effect heal. Open one shutter, another closes. But you can't where you uh, get where you want. Hey guys, look! It's the security breach maser size puzzle. Except better. <laughs> what is with this game today reminding me of po Pokemon security breach? Yeah, sure. Welcome to the Pikachu Plex. Zoro, Zoro, wow, that actually, Roxy as a Zoroark, that actually works. Huh. Wish I was better at drawing. Because my brain is just like, I must load the subjects into my brain, and then I must study them, and then I must make them work. Oh no, not a Radida. It's not even worth splitting the experience. Brock, just kick the rat. Now, Brock, it is a single rat. One rat. Kick the rat. It's not that hard. It's a pretty big rat. Ha! Kick the rat! Thank you! Oh! Not even worth splitting the experience. Oh no. He's a coffee. Gotta swap him around. Swap him around. Swap him around. Swap him around. Because maybe this will give better experience. And now, go, Marlin! My wife is dead. Let's test out this future site. Merlin foresaw an attack. It must have been that one. <laughs> I'll need to do it during an actual battle. Drat, I was sunk by indecision. So there's three slots, eh? <laughs> Confounded by the shutters, are we? I'll let you in on a secret if you can beat me. What are you gonna do? Send out Eradicate? Ooh, big boy. No, you just have a coughing. You just have a coughing. <coughs> coughing. Coughing should be naturally weak to flying types, just saying. It's a... Well, not flying types. Yeah, flying types, because it's a balloon. Peck should... Hey, Merlin! Was that the... The attack you foresaw? I think that might have been the, uh, the attack you foresaw. What the fuck? Flame wheel this hoe. You, good thing you don't know explosion. Once again, how do you harden? Like milk, I guess? Oh, 
Do not pound the weasel. Ember. Imbrar. Level up for Hotspot, because Merlin died. News at 11. Rocket Grunt was defeated! Oh, I blew it. Tell me your secrets, ugly man. All right, a hint. Change the order of switching. That'll change the way. Here's the shutters open and close. Like, no duh. Change the order, change the shutters. Who do you think I am? Markiplier trying to get through the maester size? Want to ride my bicycle all the way to the Pokemon Center to heal my Pokemon? I never did finish my thought on a Pokemon, like, Team Rocket game, did I? But my thought was, you could have it be where the player character is a minion to uh, either Jesse and James or XPs of them. And the thing could be that you're, like, doing good, bringing Team Rocket back, and then you run into a protagonist character. <laughs> like, run into a red or an ash, and it would just be funny. There could be an entire minigame where you have to uh, navigate, like, as your character gets blown away, Team Rocket blasted off again. Oh, that it was a leaving reset, so I mean. But yeah, as your character gets uh, blasted off again, what if you had to do a mini game on your landing? You got blasted away. You have to land. They ditched this project before they finished. I'm searching for leftover loot. Oh, hey, it's another burglar man. But they're here. They are here. Burglar Eddie. Now's your time, Gyarados. Scar, you can annihilate the dog. Actually, you can't because you don't have any water moves, do you? I just realized. I don't think he has any water moves. I really should give you Whirlpool. Why is it that my water type doesn't know a water move, but my normal type knows a water move? How can a furret swim? Makes no sense. Flinch the dog. Flinch the dog. Oh, and now he's using a coughing. Go, Merlin! Now you'll be able to annihilate it before it explodes in your face! More than likely, that was probably what happened. The game was like, this Pokémon is weak to that Pokémon. Blow up! Over the top! You know what's over the top? You throws him over the wall. I am very confused. Why is this 
What even? But I want that other Pokeball! Fork over your goodies! You will not have my rage candy bar! It is mine! Duncan! Go home and eat a donut! You can kill him, I'm sure of it! Explode now! Explode now! Yeah! Ha 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 ha! That was just nice! <laughs> yeah, I called it! I feel so good! Booyah, baby! I use fly, and I'm like, wait, it's a coughing! Coughing explode! Coughing explode! And then it exploded, and I was happy! And everyone lived happily ever after, like this magmar, underwater. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Magmar on Ice! Falls through the ice, drowns. Everyone claps. What majesty. Absolutely fan. Fantastic. Another coughing! I know what to do! The AI never learns! But I do! Let's see if we can have a repeat. Let's see if we can have a sequel! G Gengar on Ice 2! Ah, oh well. <laughs> it was too much to ask for. It was too much to ask for. No! The sequel with the twist! It actually hit! <laughs> Mercy! God, that was hilarious. Wait. I didn't actually mean to do that. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. That was just the most magical thing. <laughs> I used fly to avoid a self-destruct. Utterly fantastic. Hmm. I use fly. Beat him up. Beat him up, boy. No poison for you, ugly plant. Ah, shit, it's alive. Yeah, you didn't try to poison him again! Yeah, boy! And let's just finish it off with a peck. Booyah! Another Gloom. Uh, we'll keep them the same, and then we'll swap them out again. I'll send out Merlin! Well, actually... Use Fly! Crit. 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 And that's another reason I didn't want to, because they, these dudes like to use poison power. Crit, 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 crit. Yay! Booyah! My power. <laughs> How could you? How could you? Go wherever you like. Get lost. See if I care. It's labeled emergency. Yes. Give me that item. Give item. Give. But I want the item. I will have that item, even if it means losing access. Switch two. It's labeled on. They're all labeled on, and I think I turn them on three, two, one. Oh, I get it. I get how this puzzle works now, I think. We have to do it. Okay. I'm going to try it one, two, three. One. 
to... Three. Okay, that's wrong. Maybe three, two, one? Are they not working anymore? Did the emergent nope they work? Maybe if I turn off this one, I'll be able to make it through. Or turn it on. And then the Pokeball is mine. Smoke Ball? What? Uh, does that raise a Pokemon's evasion? Watch the Smoke Ball. I keep forgetting. Escape from Wild Pokemon. What? Escape from Wild Pokemon Hold. I am very confused. If I remember correctly, one way to do it is... 3, 2, 1. Let us in. Decently. I just wanted that Pokeball. And I got a kind of bad item for it. And my uh, understanding of this puzzle, uh, the answer is I didn't. Yep, I do not understand this puzzle at all. Just press buttons. Just press buttons. Wait, actually... Did it? trying to understand this puzzle, and I just don't. <laughs> I guess I can reset it just by leaving. Yeah, reset by leave. And then I come back. And then I'll try the 3, 2, 1. Well, maybe I do understand it. It is the order that you do it in. So yeah. That is how you do it. Okay. And I shall save, just in case, because it's been a while since I've saved, I believe. Huzzah. You're very hurt. Get out of the way. We need to level up the tree. That's not really a tree. You're not going any farther. I don't show mercy to my enemies. Not even brats! Well, good news for you. I don't show mercy either. Perfect. Brock can kick the Ultra Rat. Kick him! Haha, <laughs> you just use a scary face. 
for fuck's sake, why does he keep missing so much? It should not be an every other time deal. Why is his accuracy 50-50? This is not how the world is meant to be. Golbat, huh? Seemed out Merlin. Marlin. Marlin, the great clown. Saibim. Oh yeah. Blast it. You mean like blast off again? Do you have anything to say? I lost. Please forgive me, Giovanni. Silly you. Giovanni doesn't even know you exist. Yuck, 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 I remember you! You got me good at our hideout! And you think this is gonna end any differently? Dude. Time to throw rocks at the grime. Rock slide. Why? I'm super annoyed by that. Why? Is it his nature? Is that what it is? Is there something about him that makes him just miss? Why? He hurts the soul! Time to throw out Merlin again. <laughs> Especially because it's big and angry. Not as big and angry as the executive that we beat, but still. Better safe than sorry, Saibin. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how. <laughs> that was a blast. I'll remember you. How did you get this far? I guess it can't be helped. I'll dispose of you. This guy wants to murder me. What a jerk. And while we beat up this guy, I guess I'll talk a bit more about things. Things and thoughts. I was going to draw earlier today, but then my pen for my... Diddly D. Drawing tablet did not have enough charge to draw. That's just the worst. No, you know what's worst is when you're trying to beat up a Pokemon and it's just like, fuck you, and explodes. Luckily, I had the rock out to tank the blast. Oh boy, let's do the. Let's do the time warp again. But yeah, I was going to draw, try and make progress on just drawing my avatar more, to try and do the live 2D thing, and learn, but then the, the pin is just like, I'm out of energy, blah. How do you poison a rock? Now it's gonna explode. It's gonna kill you. Oh, it didn't. Why are you selective in your self-destruct, you stupid coughing bitch? Almost a level. I got disposed of. Did I, am I the murderer? Team Rocket will keep going, waiting for the return of Giovanni. We'll do whatever it takes. And this is why I have poison cures. I really should have gone back and gotten more poison cures, really. From one of those trees. Hello, dude. Who? What? You came to rescue me! Thank you! The radio tower! What's happening there? 
Take it over by Team Rocket. Here, take this card key. Use that to open the shut door on level three. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they'll do if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower and all the Pokemon nationwide. Just cross the hurdle. Yeah. What is that? Number 35. Number 35. Huh. Interesting. That would be a bitch to have on a rest Pokemon. Amulet coin? What the hell is an amulet coin? Doubles monetary earnings. Hey, Merlin. So that's how you make money in this goddamn game. Okay, these guys aren't working for Team Rocket. They just randomly open up, I guess. I have all the lemonade I need. All the lemonade I need. Let's sell that nugget. I really need to sell that nugget. I've had it for too long. Have this. It's a nugget. <laughs> nugget. And I don't need you, because you don't sell Ultra Balls. Even then, Ultra Balls don't really work all that well against Farfetch! Ah! Welcome to our Pokemon Center. You know what I'm doing? I'm beating you up. Time to go to level three. Take over this world. Make it mine. Wait, I think that all that means is I have to end the fight with Merlin. I don't even need to have him out for most of the battle. Hell yeah. Let me through. I am the director. Surprise! Why did you... Why did the shut shutter open? Did you have something to do with this? What do you think? I walked through right as it opened. Idiot. Just eradicate, huh? Hot spot. Use flame wheel. Burn the rat to a crisp. Die, Raticate. Quick attack. End it now. And now, let us double our monetary earnings. Go, Merlin. Now this is something that will be quite nice. Psybeam! Now that's more like it. I'm done for! And I've got money. What? You made it past our mid in the underground? How could you? Because I'm a badass. Stop! I'm known as the Team Rocket Fortress! You're not taking another step! If that's what you believe. Ah, an ex executive with one Pokemon. <laughs> That's why I have Merlin.
Oh, confuse Ray. What fun. You can overcome this. Psybeam! God damn it, Merlin. Well, I guess Leech Life must be a dark type move. Psybeam? Yay. Oh dear. But now it's confused. But it'll probably go through on the first turn because it's game's mean. I knew it. Why is this game bullshit sometimes? Eh, Brock can level up. Or at least get some experience from this. Brock throw. What the hell do you mean, confuse no more? This game is bullshit sometimes. Confusion is the dumbest mechanic in this game. It either means nothing or it loses you the battle. It never, ever wins you a battle. I think I still got the monetary increase from that. But I still want to revive my Pokemon. Professor Oak, can't I ride my bicycle when it's to more efficiently stop a Mafia takeover of the radio tower? Professor Oak says no. There's a time and the place to ride your bicycle. It is not now, even though it would be saving lives. You can't ride your bicycle when it would save lives. Only when it's outdoors. Professor Oak, the ultimate rules lawyer. The ultimate Roy's Royce. We hope to see you again. That subtle threat that they want to see your Pokemon in pain and misery. We want to see your Pokemon bleed. E I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just slowly making my way, murdering all the rocket people. Let me through. Don't I th think Pokemon are cute? I'll think my Pokemon are cute after they beat yours! Don't you mean after they murder me? Jesse? Oh no, not in Ekans. That's the least of my hopes. Flame Wheel. Critical hit at that. Nice. Another Ekans. I'm betting this is going to end with it evolving into an Arbok. Or it'll just be a conga line of Ekans, like it was a conga line of Raditas. This game loves to throw conga lines. Wait, kick, kicking the snake doesn't do that much. Even though it should, because so many, so many birds kick the shit out of snakes. It's a fact of life that snakes are weak to kicking. It's a fact. An Oddish? Murder the Oddish! Murder it! Turn it into a salad! It's just sitting there, all happy. We must ruin its joy with a flame wheel. Bye bye, Oddish. Who's next? Stay out, hot spot. You're the only one. Kill it with a flame wheel. Don't let it get a poison powder off. Yeah.
Oh no, they're so useless! Maybe I do need Merlin to be in the battle to get ex money. I love my beautiful self. Who cares about Pokemon? Why? Why do I have to suffer through this? Meowth, help me! Meowth is scared. Then I guess what we'll do is we will have Merlin enter every battle. Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Tower. I lost then, but I won't this time. Oh, but you will, you will, you will. Nice Arbok. Would be a shame if something happened to it. Psybeam. Bye bye, Arbok. A Murkrow. Brock. Throw rocks on that flying dark type. Don't let it get away. Good thing we got our boy out of there. Bye-bye, Murkrow. Unless you manage to survive, in which I'll be very upset. Yea, it's dead. And everyone rejoiced. A vile plume. Good. We'll end it off with Hot Spot. Oh, it's evolved. I thought it was talking about gloom. No, it's a vile plume. Well, here's hoping that a flame wheel finishes it off anyway. No poison powder, please. I do have one poison cure, but I don't want to use it. Ah! <laughs> I'm funny. What is that going to do in battle? Lower its chance to attack? Evasion fell. Well, that doesn't seem smart. Well, you're going to die to your burn anyway. I find that funny. Waha! Victory has been attained. This can't be happening! I fought so hard, and you got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Nope, nothing that way. Anything to say? Neon, isn't it? A brat like you won't appreciate the magnificence of Team Rocket. That's too bad. I really admire your power. Hello. Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solo training. We are going to regain our former glory. I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. Well, too bad, because I'm going to interfere with your plans. A hound tower, huh? How well would Psybeam? Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Of course it's a critical hit. Because only the fucking AI gets any critical hits of, that, of worth in this goddamn game. That's so annoying. Whenever I get critical hits, it's always when it would have killed anyway. When the AI gets crits, it's usually something like a one-hit kill. Full health to dead. Because of course. Wow, that would have been nice to have the boy for... Queen! Headbutt that balloon into next week! Now, headbutt! Please don't self-destruct, Coughing. That's kind of sad that the smokescreen missed. How do you miss smokescreen? Aw, oh, look, it did a smokescreen that time. I swear to God, if this is the one time that smokescreen actually comes through and makes me miss, I'm going to be very upset. 
Thank you. Don't even give it a chance to self-destruct. And a Hound Doom. This is perfect for Queen. He's a cool Pokemon, but I know Surf. It's faster than Queen, but how could that be? Queen likes to ride her bicycle! Or in this case, Surfboard. Super effective, and it only did so much. Okay, you're faster this time? I guess they must be so close, RNG is dictating who gets to go first. Crit, 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 crit. I swear if you crit now, I'm gonna be very sad. Wah. Heal my beloved boy with lemonade! Yeah. The power of lemonade will save the day! Surf! Please don't flinch! Please don't flinch! Fuck! Another lemonade for the queen. It's alternating. Please don't flinch, please, please, please don't flinch, please, please, please don't flinch, please, please! Yay! Do a little dance! Tons of experience for the queen. No! Forgive me! Giovanni! How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the task after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Neon, thank you! Your courageous actions have saved Pokémon nationwide! I know it's not much, but please, take this. What the hell does this do? There used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City. But it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up that bell during construction. I heard that Pokemon all sorts lived in Goldenrod in the past. Perhaps that bell has some connection to Tin Tower and Ecritique City. Ah, that reminds me. I overheard Tim Rocket whispering. Apparently, something is going on at the Tin Tower. I have no idea what is happening, but you might look into it. Okay, I better go to my office. <laughs> that place hurts me! Oh boy, I found an Ultra Ball. He's my favorite. I want my own radio show. I don't know what it would be about, though. Are you happy? Nope. Oh, you're my little savior. Will you take this as my thanks? I wonder what this does. It's just right for Pokemon that know normal type moves. The queen will be pleased with this. Well, let's see. Is the queen holding an item? The queen is holding something. I forget. What are you holding? Quick Claw? I think it's holding Quick Claw. But let's read specifically what the pink bow does. Pink Bow powers up normal type moves. Honestly, that is far better than Quick Claw. And then I will give Quick Claw to... Honestly, to you, because you're so fucking slow, you stupid rock that looks like a tree! Thank you, you're my hero. This is a token of my appreciation. And what is this TM? It's sunny day. It powers up fire type moves for a while. Neat. We have recordings of the cries of all Pokemon that have been found. We must have about 200 kinds. 
We run 24 hours a day to broadcast entertaining programs. I'll do my best to run around the clock, too. Feel free to look around anywhere. The director is nice again, so just as he was before. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> the password today is help. <laughs> Welcome! Conspirator! Wait, I know. I will fly to Ecritique. And heal my Pokemon and see what's going on at the Tin Tower. Maybe this will allow me to actually be begin capturing the legendary dogs. And then I'll be able to spend entire streams just trying to capture the legendary dogs fruitlessly. Dear God, where can they show up? I don't know their mechanics. And I don't even know. I would have to bring Polly, my Totodile, Shroom Original, just to put them to sleep. The old dude. Hello, old dude. A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah, the sound of the clear bell. It's, it's sublime. I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is so indicative of the bearing soul. You, you may be able to make it through, Tin Tower. Please, do go on. You're goddamn right. I will make it through, Tin Tower. It is now. Okay, these guys look like they're about to just obliterate me. Yeah, they're here to obliterate me. Legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon, a Pokemon will come forth to put that trainer to the test at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Pokemon Suicune has arrived! We, the wise trio, shall test your worthiness to go inside! Suicune will be mine. I will earn its honor! Goku! Oh, Gaku. <laughs> Goku? <laughs> Shadow Ball! Why doesn't it? Oh, because it's part normal type, I guess. Well, that's stupid. Psybeam, I thought it was part psychic. Well, that's not nice at all. Future Sight! I f Oh! Well, that's not nice- Oh, I- Future Sight, not Foresight on that guy. That guy used Foresight, not Future Sight. I thought he was just like, oh, you're gonna use uh, Future Sight, are you? <laughs> I will too. Confusion. Confuse the bird. For the birds. Flareon, huh? Queen, go! And it's probably going to get hit by that future side attack. Yay! Future sight's such a cool move. Even if it is basically just, hey, extra damage. Not even extra. It's basically a side beam, but in the future. So I guess it's basically if you don't know if you're going to have, well, I don't, I don't even know. How dare you throw sand, pocket sand, in the queen's eyes! Oh dear god. You know, that's actually a very, very uh, decent attack there, that, uh, that sand attack. But not good enough to save you from a second surf! Booyah. Cool to see a Flareon again. Kind of makes sense. Are you related to one of the Kimono Girls? Gaku has been defeated. Stronger than we thought, perhaps. Ah, so it is you who claim to have seen Suicune, Entei, and Raikou while they slept. Unbelievable. 
Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. Can you be trusted with the truth? I must ascertain your worthiness. Come on! I will beat you! Masa. Another knocked owl! Aha! Aha. Go, Brock! Tank some damage while I heal up your... your friends. Lemonade! Get your lemonade! Eliminate for Merlin. Eliminate for Merlin. That's not. Oh, it actually does raise your. Uh, rock slide! How dare you try to put him to sleep? He's going to throw rocks at you! Rocks at you! Rock slide! You can't damage. He's a rock. He's a rock. He's Brock. He's Rock the Brock! Bye bye. Ha 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 ha. Five five five! Five five five! The wonders of five. Ah. Stay out there. Let's see if Rock does anything special against Electric. I don't think it does because of our experience, but I wanna know! I want to know, but it knows double kick. Nope, it's just a normal attack. What shenanigans here? Then there's only one thing to do. Go, hot spot. Show that Jolteon you're hot to trot. With a flame wheel. How dare you try to throw pocket sand in my hot spot size? He's a good boy! Yeah! Get burned! Quick attack! Try and make it burn! Burn it out! It just might do that. Booyah! Now that's what I'm talking about. I still don't know why electric attacks seem to be decent against rock. I will tell you the truth. In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken Pokémon, and the Tin Tower, where Pokémon was said to rest. The view from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. At the time, an immense silver-colored Pokemon was said to make its roost atop the Brass Tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze, and that is how the burned tower came to be. Let me see your power. And allow me to see yours, old man! Sage Koji wants to battle. Noctowl, and you're probably gonna have a Vaporeon in there. Psybeam! Obliterate the Noctowl. Do not let it garner power! Throw it out the window! It's a bird! With huge eyebrows! Aha! It's confused! It probably won't kid itself, though. I knew it. I am not a happy boy! I do not get to have wonders that never cease. But Merlin gets decent experience. About to use Vaporeon. I don't really have anything to counter that. Gibson. Go Queen! Mm -hmm. 
You can defeat this one, Queen. Use Headbutt! Quit throwing sand, pocket sand, in the eyes of the Queen! Her power will not be contained. Well, thank you for trying to remove the sand from the queen's eyes. Headbutt! God damn it! Time to use some lemonade. Lemonade for the poor Pokemon. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> you can do it, queen! Use cut. Cut that Vaporeon to pieces! God damn it. Yay! Murder! Now that's wondrous. Too strong? Why? You are the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon. I see. We, the wise trio, have been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokémon. We are to allow passage only to those who possess the power and soul of truth. Please, do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. I'm gonna go heal up, and maybe even bring back in Totodile, true and original Do Not Steal. For one purpose, hypnosis. Mwahaha. <laughs> and I still don't have any electric Pokemon or anything that's good against water. I want Sneasel! Where is Sneasel? I want Sneasel. Where is Sneasel? Sneasel. 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 But I'll try capturing it first, with my normal team. Merlin, I trust you. Help me in my time of need. Help me bring down Suicune, so that we may show it. We are worthy of its power, worthy of its trust. Oh, that wasn't even the tower. That was the place to the tower. Neat. Tin Tower. A legendary Pokemon is said to roost here. Hello, three. So I guess they're out in the wild now. But we're battling Suicune! Your majesty is grand. Your power overwhelming! Psybeam! Water type powers increase. On the wings of a prayer, go! Ultra Ball! I, I, I didn't think so. I just wanted to try. Psybeam! You aren't going to survive. Bring it down just a little bit more. Can you buy yourself time? Probably not because Confusion hates me. Ah. Nice. Keep on with the side beams. Bring it low. Now I just need to hope that you don't kill yourself. Well, you are killing Merlin, so that's sad. Scar, you must body block damage during this rain. As we try once more. Go, Ultra Ball! Come to me! Ah, 
Ah. Please don't kill yourself. But you are slowly weakening yourself. Great Ball, go! Maybe you just like the color blue? No. Confuse no more. Maybe you want an apricorn. Go, fast ball! It's also blue. Surely you like that. God damn it. Hmm. Let's risk it. Bite. Hopefully it won't do too much damage. If so, I'm resetting. Ah. A few bites. We might be able to lower it enough for an Ultra Ball. God damn it! Time for a me me me. Reboot. I am not. Wait, when did I save? Oh well, we might have to fight the dudes again. Nope, we don't have to. What is my. My team? Still good? I'm gonna try again. Okay, so Merlin's definitely going down. Probably should have put Gyarados in first to try and bring it down again, but at the same time, he's a good meat shield. Let's try this again, shall we? I will have you join my team. You are worthy, and so am I! Ah, you didn't use Rain Dance this time. Despite the fact it would have aided you in your test of me. Psybeam again. Perhaps confusion? No confusion. Aha! Confusion! I wonder how it will turn out today. Another Psybeam. Getting dangerously low. Go! Ultra Ball! Make Suicune mine! God damn it! Confuse no more at that! Goodbye, Merlin. You've served your purpose today. Rest now! Oh! You are. determined. Once again, Ultra Ball! Go! May Merlin see the capture he brought forth! Nope. Sorry, Merlin, you're not seeing this. It knows Gust. Interesting. Alright. Go, Scar! Tank damage for this. The final Ultra Ball. Go! Come with me, Suicune! You just hate Ultra Balls, don't you? That shouldn't do it. You're part flying, yet you're not resistant to flying. I guess that does... Wait, no, I don't, we don't want that. We don't want to kill. I have a few Great Balls to throw around. It's blue. But not apparently enough. It's not blue enough. Well... It's raining indoors. How the hell is that happening? Is there a hole in the roof? Come on, Suicune. I have plenty of balls. Fuck. You used another rain dance. That doesn't seem like an, uh, a strategic move. I wonder how many resets I'm going to have to do to catch you. I will use all my Pokeballs that I need to show my determination to you, dear Suicune. I wish that I had that, uh, 
that move that Farfetch'd can learn that uh, brings you down to one health and doesn't kill you, but... Another Great Ball, go! Do I have any status effects? I don't think so. That's why I'd probably, if it doesn't work this time, I might just go back and bring in the Hypnosis Totodile True and Original Do Not Steal Poliwag. Jesus Christ! What is your catch rate? Perhaps you just don't like the Great Ball. Would you like a level ball? It's nice and golden. No, you don't like that. I see you like tormenting the Gyarados, though. That's kind of rude. Fastball! This one is nice and blue. But aren't you like it, I see. Catch rate system is kind of stupid. Queen! Hmm. It's pretty powerful. Let's try and edge it a little bit more. Surf! It'll resist, so it should be able to take a few more hit points off. And that's about as low as it's going to get. Dear God. And that was with Rain Dance as well. I probably almost killed it. Come on, Suicune. I do not want to destroy you. I wish to test you. Come on! Come on, I only have so many Pokeballs. I know, you're a prideful creature, rightfully so, great and powerful and beautiful, but come on! Now that's just rude. Come on! Get in the blue Pokeball! It's blue! It's thematic! It is mine! I think that's the fifth time you've done that. Would you please get in the ball? Come on! Why? Go! Great ball! I only have four Pokeballs left. Nope! I think it's toying with me now. Owl, come forth. Tank against this legendary Pokemon. Go, Great Ball! It was almost there. But now it's gonna break out instantly. Still toying with me, I see. probably have enough time for each of these Pokeballs. I'll use them all up! Go Level Ball! It's definitely weakening. It actually did one dip dip. Go Fast Ball! One more Pokeball to go after this. Are we down to drama or disappointment? Final great ball. Go. Nope, looks like it's time for... Well, let's see what happens when we kill you, I guess. I can reset. Very annoying, but I'll reset and go get Totodile. Probably re replace Brock with Totodile.
Let's see. Quick attack. Nope. Apparently they might not like that. Too awesome even! I've never seen a battle that great! That was truly inspiring to see! Summons mystic power, summons a rainbow-colored Pokémon. Maybe what went on today will cause that Pokémon to appear. So your legends more, thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later! Yeah, I'm gonna reset and capturing... It. Surely it, you should be able to capture it. All right, now back to the Pokemon Center to get Toto Dial, true original Do Not Steal. I will capture Suicune. Because surely you should be able to. And that's not a, you're like forced to beat the legendary Pokemon that goes against all common sense. Can I use this as a computer? Why is there a monitor there if I can't use it as a computer? It is forced advertising. Deposit Brock. He's not really that... Well. Come forth, Toto Dial. True original, do not steal. Honestly, I just have to hope you're fast enough. And I think I put away the, the, the quick claw. Well, we'll just have to see if we fail again. Then we'll be able to take Quick Claw from him. I will capture Suicune because I want Suicune on my team. Suicune will be a neat water Pokemon to have. Because surely it would have something like you. Like. Honestly, if you can't capture a Pokemon at a certain point, it would be nice if the game would tell me, because it feels like this is the moment where you can capture the Pokemon, so I want to capture the Pokemon. Ah, damn it, that was a critical. One more. See if you can confuse it. Probably not, but it... <laughs> Critical hit. Yeah, nice. Don't crit this time. We need it alive. That's close. Alright, now we have another thing to pray for. It's not rain danced. Toto Dial true and original. You should still have hypnosis. Use it now! Damn it, you're probably gonna die. You really do need the quick claw. Oh, nice. Hypnosis! You are a failure. Put it to sleep! Now's the chance. Ultra Ball! Go! Yes! You have served your purpose, Totodal True and Original. Suicune has been added to the Pokedex. This divine Pokemon blows around the world, always in search of a pure reservoir. Your name is as perfect as it is, Suicune. I will come collect you soon. I've caught the legendary Pokemon! Awesome! Too awesome, even! I've never seen a battle that great! That was truly inspiring to see. You were even more incredible, Neon. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to go study more legends. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Neon! It really wasn't that fantastic. It was a few psi beams and a hypnosis. When the brass tower burned down, three nameless Pokemon were said to have perished. It was tragic. However, a rainbow-colored Pokemon, in other words, Ho-Oh, descended from the sky and gave new life to the three Pokemon. 
They are Suiku, Entei, and Raiku. That is what they say. According to legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commune, from heavens descends a Pokemon of rainbow colors. Could it mean the legendary are testing us humans? The two towers are said to have been built to foster friendship, hope between Pokemon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still remains important to this day. Well, there's no way to rise through this tower. But awesome, I got Suicune, yeah! Can I track the legendary dogs yet? Not yet. But hey, I got Suicune! Maybe Entei and Raikou will come to me as part of story beats. <laughs> I'm gonna have Suicune with me. I'm gonna have Suicune with me. Not even as, like, a, a level. Please do go on. The Tin Tower shook! A new Pokémon must have returned to the top! How do I get there? Two towers, two Pokémon. But when one burned down, both Pokémon flew away. Never to return. I'm gonna get Suicune. I'm gonna get Suicune. And I'll probably replace Gyarados with Suicune. Purely because I want Suicune. Suicune's awesome. Bye-bye, Totodile. But that still means I'm gonna have to teach someone Whirlpool. So maybe I'll have to do some swapping around, because I'm not going to make Suicune an HM slave. Someone else can be an HM slave. Suicune. Hell yeah. Now I can beat Carl with a Suicune! But the real quest- wait. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have the- uh, I still have an empty spot. Hmm, who do I really want to bring out? I have a lot of water-type Pokémon! There's so many water Pokémon! Let's change the box to number... Wait, let's see. I think... No, yeah, current box number two. We want to go to box number one. I don't know why we have to save to swap boxes, but sure. I guess it's to make sure people know. Sunkern. It'll take leveling up, but it would be nice to have a grass type on the... And then just like the Abelian them. Oh, hey, and Worthless Sherry. I'm gonna take Sunkern with me. I'm gonna level up Sunkern. We need a grass type to help us with all these, uh, all these things. And now we will change the box. Backs to two. And now we will start leveling up Sunkern with Suicune on our side. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to get the item from the boy. Alright, so we're gonna quickly put Merlin in, take Brock out, take the Quick Claw. Really wish that I could just take the item from him from the box. And then I can also check and see what items I have in my box right now. Give me that item. And by that I mean take. Bye-bye, Brock. You've been a mild disappointment. And now we will take back Owl, because we need to fly. It is very important that we fly. Now the real question is, who gets the Quick Claw now? Hmm. Honestly, Suicune? You can have... the Quick Claw. we go. And, oh, and I'll put Sunkern in first so that we can 
start leveling you up, and what moves do you have? Absorb growth and mega drain. You know, two absorbs. Do we have any uh, TMs that might be good for you? Roll out to normal, hidden power, sunny day. Oddly enough, it is a fire thing, and. Hmm. Endure Iron Tail. An attack that might reduce your defense. Swagger, sleep talk, detect, attract, thief, fury cutter, and then. Alright, who can learn. Who can learn this? Of course, Weakling's the only one, and I'm not going to do it to you. We'll just have to specifically make a team for when we're going whirlpooling. And now we're going to probably go into caves in which Diddly D happens. Wait, yeah, yeah, this is the right one. I want to fly. And now we can make our way to the farthest town. The final town. Eh? Visit Grandma's shop. She sells stuff that nobody else has. Ah, so they got rid of the, the scam. Welcome. How may I help you? Rage, great balls. We need tons of great balls, please. Wait, we actually didn't need that many great balls, but I'll still take a few. Let's see. Antidote, paralyze, super repel, revive, flower mail. Yeah, she totally doesn't sell anything anybody else has. Well, I guess maybe a super repel. Well, I guess I'll take a few hyper potions. We're getting to that portion of the game. I wonder if she just gets the entire underground as well. And now we're on to a new area. Burnt Berry! Yeah. What does the sign say? Route 44, Mahogany Town to Blackthorn. Hello. I'm gonna win for sure! I'm gonna beat you to death with my legendary Pokemon. Not really, because I don't want to leave out my other ones. Ooh, Natu! Time for Shadow Ball! Actually, let's see. Normal Grass. Merlin. Shadow Ball this Natu. Give experience to the child sun gun. It won't help you, Shadow Ball. Bye bye. A Kadabra, huh? Sun gun return to the battlefield. You are not a high enough level to battle this monster. That is why we fight for you with Shadow Ball. It is still honestly hilarious that he can learn Shadow Ball despite being a psychic type. He tried to foresee an attack, but the attack was already here! And it didn't really do that much. Shadow Ball. Bye bye. Sunkern leveled up. Hell yeah. Ugh, that's a shocking loss. Not really. I forgot to check my item box. I found a useful item, so I bought it with your money. Max Repel. Since we are not that far from town, I'm going to head back and see what the items are and see if there's anything that I want to throw into the item box, since it's probably filling up. Filling up, 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 filling up, up, up. Also, I find it funny that Team Rocket felt like they disbanded quite quickly, all things considered. We just beat them up a little bit, and then they ran home. Wait, I can give... Oh, no, uh, didn't I have uh, a certain thing? I thought I had a certain thing. A self-cure for freezing. Heh. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, uh, Miracle Seed. Yeah, I'll give that to Diddly D. Moonstone, Everstone, Apricorn, Zipricorn, Super Max, Rage Candy, X Special, Poison Barb, Super Potion. Yep, and now to fill up space in my Diddly D, I shall give an item to you, Sunkern. An item that increases grass type moves. Miracle Seed. Just for you. What's up here? A fishing man. And a child. Ah! You made me lose a polywag! What are you gonna do about it? I mean, a polywag isn't really that impressive, dude. Not at this point. Wilton. Wait, it's a fish type. Yes, yeah, a fish type. Let's see if you can survive. Mega Drain! Damn it, you're probably dead. Well, you're alive. Mega Drain. I forgot. Why do you know Peck? It makes no sense. And that's freaking worthless. Show them what real pecking is like. Go, Owl! How very rude. You hurt my beloved son, Kern. Kill it! That's for trying to make Sun Kern cry. Another gold deal. You won't be able to kill them, apparently. Mega Drain is fucking useless. Oh, yes. It's a tin PowerPoint move. Mega Drain, talent tin PowerPoints. Oh, but Dream Eater. Dream Eater gets to be like a 2025 PowerPoint move. Nothing in this world is fair at all. Fly. Again. Now you're just being annoying with that supersonic. How dare you do it again? How dare you actually land? You monster. Now we just have to brute force this. Only fair since how many times it happened with Suicune. But it is very rude. Oh. Confused no more. Lol. Levels for everyone. Levels for everyone. Of course, we'll send out Sunkern once more. Oh yeah, and that was with the Miracle Seed. Such powerful grass type moves. Waha hi ha hi ha. You are still too weak. You cannot face them. That is why. Owl fights them for you. Cause he too is the slave man. Fly into the sky. Ah, it's almost killed. How cute. Murder! Murder! More levels for Sunkern. More levels for the Sunkern. Just forget about it. You're damn right. Eh? You saw... Oh, an adorable thing! Okay. Just using up all my money, aren't you, Mom? I'll do anything to get my hands on rare Pokémon! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill you with Suicune on principle. Pokémaniac Zack. Nah, but he should be a gun maniac. You're not a real Zack. Once more. Go, Suicune! He besmirches our dear Sunken. He must be taught a lesson. Use it. 
Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam. See, Toto Dial, true and original, do not steal. You should have learned that long ago. But you didn't. Because you suck. That's why we have Suicune, because Suicune doesn't suck. <laughs> Your Pokemon are so appealing, aren't they, though? Oh boy, an Ultra Ball. I can't tell you. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, and I can see that you are too. I feel like I've been insulted by this man. Oh, it's an ace trainer. Or cool trainer, Alan. Alan! One thing that comes to mind... I probably want to level up my Toto Dial eventually. Hmm, but then who would have to leave to make room for it? Honestly, probably Merlin. Mainly because I need to level up. It would probably be a good idea to have Toto Dial True and Original be my. Whirlpool slave and waterfall slave. That way, if the legendary dogs show up somewhere where I need to whirlpool or waterfall to get to, I'll be able to uh, hypnotize them. Put them to sleep, because that was the only freaking way I was going to get them under control. Although, that might prove a bit difficult due to the fact that... Uh... Raikou is going to be super effective against Totodile, and Entei is going to be weak, so getting them low is going to be hard. <laughs> it's total loss on my part. You're damn right. Wow, you have a lot of badges. No wonder you're so tough. I wonder if Ecritique's Jim Morty is still in training. He really hammered me. You look strong. Good trainers seek out tough opponents instinctively. Would you say that if I had level 1 Pokemon? I bet you would. You don't seek challenge. You're just a bully, Sybil! Go. Hotspot. Destroy them. Oh, that's not gonna be nice. Oh, I thought that would do uh, some more damage. Flame wheel. Bye-bye! We gotta level up Sungurn so that it can just be useful and give us more type consistency and uh, just coverage. Well, time to murder Hawaii! Oh wait, no, that comes far, far later. Alola isn't here. You do have to wonder if they kind of regret making Blossom all these years ago, now that they have an actual... What was that? Kill it! Kill it! Kill it before it can fire! No! No beam of light for you! Oh, it learned Sunny Day. Lol. I didn't even need the TM. Nope, <laughs> this won't do at all. <laughs> I fish until I can anymore. I also battle until I drop. That's my relationship with my Pokemon. I don't think I like that. I don't think I do. Fish boy. I will give you a lemonade. Let us see how well you do on your own in this the closer battle. Oh, well that's not nice at all. And that's why I bought revives. To lull him into a false sense of security. Why do water types? 
No, an ice move. It was very rude. You know, I don't think it's very fair that it can learn both water moves and ice moves. It should be one or the other. Honestly. He's about to send out another Rimmeraid. And we're not falling for that again because frickin' Aurora Beam. Go, Merlin. We probably should have sent out Queen. Queen hasn't had a, the time to bash heads in in a while. Psybeam. Kill that fish! Bye bye, fish. Bye bye. Hmm, this isn't right. You're goddamn right. And now I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon. Super mean that. Like, I would understand something like Suicune learning Aurora Beam and water moves. But, like, Remoraid, when it is. Like, primarily a water type. And then it's just like, and now I'm gonna learn a move that allows me to super critical hit enemies that might be trying. It's like, it would be one thing if it was like learning a move, but it, the fact that its type is like actually kind of tricksy like that is just mean. Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Uh, yes, I caught one of its children right here. Suicune. It found me. Worthy. What level is your Pidgeotto? You would annihilate my poor Sunkern. Who should... Queen! Destroy this enemy! You thought you were fighting a grass type. Would it is actually Queen? Bye bye. Sunkern keeps leveling up. Would be a little bit easier if I just had the experience share, you know? But I have to swap them out, so Pokemon has to take a hit. Can't wait for you to learn something like Vine Whip, that would be really nice. Mainly because Mega Drain friggin' sucks. It just doesn't do that much at all. Once again, something like Dream Eater. Vast amount of power points. Mega Drain? Or... Ooh, you're hot stuff. You're goddamn right. What's this? Route 44, ice path ahead. Wow, this is gonna be terrible for my poor poor. For my poor sun curd. I forget, what typing are you? Eh, uh, not enough to bother with. Go! Annihilate the Zubat. It'll probably use Bite. It'll get like super. Yep. The more types they add to this game, the more confusing it gets. Psybeam. Kill! I forgot that those are usually not worth killing. Has to train you that hey, look out. Hey. <gasps> Is a Sneasel gonna appear here? Is there gonna be a Sneasel? 
I want a Sneasel! I don't know who I would give up for a Sneasel, but I want a Sneasel! Yeah, I honestly have no idea who I would give up for a Sneasel, but I want a Sneasel. Honestly, if it weren't for the fact that you're my HM slave, I probably would give up a queen for it. Alright, time for puzzles. And apparently I did it in one shot? There's not anything more to that, is there? I want that item. I also want a Sneasel. Booyah. HM7? They put an HM in here? What is that HM? Waterfall. Waterfall and Whirlpool. We might have to gather up Gyarados to, uh, you know. I think the hard part's gonna be getting out. Nope, never mind. There we go. But yeah, that was awesome. But what about that one? How do we get there? I guess when we leave. Hmm. Want to do? Yeah, we need these to be done. All right. Let's sacrifice this part. We can reset it later. Honestly, surprised we haven't run into a Pokemon in a while. Let's see. Wait, do I want to do this? Because we could move it like... We could have moved it like Doot, Doot. Wait, no. Unless these are affected by Rock Smash. But it didn't say anything, so we can't move it down. We, we can move that one up, though. So, doop. Where you go. The boulder fell through. There we go. Finally a battle. I was wondering where the Pokemon were. Ah, uh, just a Swinub. You're not really worth killing right now. Oh, fuck off! Let me escape. Game? Kindly fuck off. I don't like that mechanic. I get it. As, well, actually, no, I don't. If I'm trying to leave... Like, maybe it's supposed to be like, Oh, no, Pokemon... Okay, it, as most I can see, that mechanic is just there to be like, Oh, what's that? You, it's a strong Pokemon, you're trying to get away? Well, screw you. Alright, let's see. Sneasel. I want Sneasel. Gimme Sneasel. I want Sneasel. Fuck off. It's just so annoying. Again, it's probably just like, uh -huh, lower level Pokemon, you can't escape. Even though, all I'm trying to freaking do is not waste my time. Yeah, that's a stupid mechanic. I am deciding it now. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm just assigning it now. That's a stupid mechanic. Primarily because if the only time you can't escape from a Pokemon is when you have a low-level Pokemon in the front, it's probably because you're trying to level them up. And if you're running from a Pokemon that's a higher level, it's like, if you're going to implement a mechanic where it's just like, hee hee hee, ah, we're gonna have it so that higher level Pokemon are harder to escape from if you're running with a lower level Pokemon, then make lower level or high level, like, single evolution Pokemon, and by that I mean a first evolution Pokemon like Swinub or Zubat, actually give worthwhile experience. But they don't. It's not really that decent experience, all things considered. So that's why I'm trying to run away. Because it's not worth doing. Let's see. If I push it back up and then come it over here, I can have it here, and I can come down from below and swing around at the top. Go! The boulder fell through. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying when you're trying to level up a Pokemon. Not to mention, I haven't seen a single Sneasel here, which doubles the place of this worthlessness. Like, again, it would just be nice to have the experience share by now. That would solve most of my problems with this, but no, I don't want to deal with higher level, quote-unquote, single or first evolution, like, mostly first evolutions, because single evolution ones, or uh, first evolution ones, are actually pretty decent, all things considered. Okay, I'm going to go down. Give me a sneeze all. I'm not even gonna bother, it's like, I hate it. I hate it. It's just not worthwhile experience to deal with Swinubs and Zubats. Because for whatever reason, experience isn't designated by level, but by weird little things like, is it a trainer Pokemon, which does make sense, or if it's a first evolution, a second evolution, or basically if it's like, First, middle, or final evolution. Because not all Pokemon have middle evolutions, but, like, you get more experience if it's a final evolution. Which is a fine enough thing, except it seems that it dictates, like, how much experience you get more by... evolution than level. Personally, it should be the other way around. It should be more about level and less about evolution. But they don't... <coughs> Use me. Tickle in the throat. Yeah, it's just annoying to deal with when you're going through these dungeons and it's a bunch of unevolved Pokemon. So it's just like you feel like you're wasting your time if you battle them because they don't give much experience. Sneasel? Why? I want a Sneasel. Oh, I want a Sneasel. How did he get a Sneasel? But I don't get a Sneasel. Sneasel is one of my favorite Pokemon. Why can't I get it here in this goddamn place? Maybe it's dependent on level and if I go down, it'll be able to do it. But yeah, all of that to say either fix your experience distribution, or screw that, oh, you're running a low-level Pokemon. So we're going to have, uh... <laughs> it, it be near impossible to escape. I picked the worst time to try and level up Sunkern. Not to mention, it also kind of feels like a waste of power points as well. I guess you could say, oh, but you could use repel, but I don't like using repels, because you never know when you might get, like, an interesting Pokemon encounter. 
I think I went from the wrong side. God damn it. Oh, hey, a gull bat. You'll be uh, decent to kill. See, more like this. Because they're actually worth killing, because they're a... F uh, well, in this game, a middle evolution, so they give more experience. I'm just gonna say it. Please stop giving random encounter Pokemon confusion abilities. It's just annoying. It's just... Oh, yeah, and it's good. It also has bite. I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. This is fucking stupid. I hate confusion. I get it in, like, trainer battles, I guess, but please, please, don't put it on random encounter Pokemon. It's just annoying. Lemonade for the boy. Because frickin' confusion exists. But yeah, I did it from the wrong side, I need to do it from this side, or the right side, so that I can actually maneuver. What? The experience share? And it's probably in Kanto. I'm honestly surprised that there isn't a possibility for swapping Pokemon to fail with how much they just want to annoy you in this game. Why does it know two confusion moves? Honestly, I'm going to say it. I think they gave these bastards two confusion moves because they f expect people to go, Oh, I'm going to use the confusion berry. It should not be able to kid itself three fucking times in a row, and now it's gonna die. Confusion is a fucking stupid fucking thing. Fuck confusion, I hate it. But yeah, I'm going to say it. They gave these assholes two confusion moves for one reason. Because they anticipated someone to come in here and be like, Oh, I will use the berry that fuses, uh, uh, that cures confusion. And then it would, and now that it has two confusion moves, the random number generator that dictates whether or not they <laughs> uh, like which move they use because well I think they did upgrade it but I'm not sure if they upgraded it for random Pokemons and considering that it tried to use Confuse Ray and then Supersonic kind of leads me to believe that wild Pokemon still use RNG for their ability choice. It's just so fucking stupid. Confusion is a stupid mechanic. I get it for, like, trainer battles because, oh, eh, there's strategy there. Wild Pokemon? Wild Pokemon don't need Confuse Ray. I also just realized that there isn't actually a rock there, and I could have done it the first time much faster. I didn't even need to go a roundabout. Oh, hey, look. Something that doesn't even give good fucking experience. It's just the minor things, the repetitive things. Running into the same Pokemon that's like, I'm going to be a pain in your ass. <laughs> and then I think that should be all of them. So we want to get to the middle. How the hell do we get to the middle? Alright, let's try hitting one rock. Okay, not like that. Aha, that's a way.
Or maybe not. What? Fuck off, game. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe. Booyah! And it was a full heal, but we can go further down now. I don't have Rock Smash, though! Or do I? Where the fuck do you get Rock Smash? I'm gonna look it up now. The game has annoyed me to the point that I'm just like, fuck it. Tell me how to do shit, you assholes. Because it means that I probably missed it at this point. Probably, it's probably a thing that I missed, but it's at the same time kind of stupid. It's one of the, it's the, one of the NPCs right next to Pseudo Widow gives you Rock Smash. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> because not only is it one of the NPCs that you talk to, like, a long time ago in relation to actually fighting Pseudo Widow. Like, HM for Fly. That makes sense. Fly makes decent sense. All things considered, Fly makes sense because you're talking to the NPCs in the town and uh, the lady explicitly says, oh yeah, and Whirlpool. Whirlpool, Fly, so many, oh, and even Flash. Even Flash. All of these moves you get in the same town as the badge that allows you to use them. But for this one, it's just like, Oh, yeah. Rock Smash. I don't even know if he mentions wanting to give you Rock Smash. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. I guess my bad... I talked to the one person, because I'm not sure why I didn't talk to the other person, but... Yeah. We gotta fly. Yeah. At least it's not terrible. It's not that far away to Violet City. But now I need to decide who the hell gets Rock Smash. Because I don't want to give up... I do not want to give up Headbutt. Headbutt is a good move for my dear, dearest dear. Yeah, I didn't talk to you. Did you clear the wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. I could have had this a long freaking time ago. Now, let's see who gets Rock Smash. Who gets Rock Smash? Hotspot can learn it. Queen can't learn it. Well, fuck it. I guess we're gonna give it to Hotspot. And I guess we're getting rid of Smokescreen. It's not all that useful. And I want the utility more. Honestly, kind of annoyed that they added in another rock-based overworld puzzle mechanic. You already have strength. Why did you add another? It's just wasting another slot in the your use. And it's a TM at that, so you can only put it on one Pokemon. And not that many Pokemon, apparently, like... The TM HM system is very freaking flawed. And I think that's why in later games they eventually kind of peter out its use. And replace it with certain things, because it's just like... I get, you want to make... I get it, you want to make... The overworld, interesting. You want to make the overworld interesting and have things to do and make progress. Oh, you did this thing, you earn a thing and do things. Yeah, I know, I get it. But it's just like, when you have to sacrifice a Pokemon move for it, it's very annoying. And the fact that not every Pokemon can learn it 
makes it kind of even more frustrating. You have to sacrifice a move. You have to sacrifice a move to even begin using it. And sure, it is technically an optional thing, but yeah. It's just frustrating when the game <laughs> throws something at you, and depending on your team composition, because at this point, you need, like, two HM slaves. Like, two and a half HM slaves. It's so stupid. And sure, it could be that they're expecting you to uh, go about it the way I am to a degree, where they're like, oh. The players will just have an HM Pokemon and we'll swap them out. Like, oh, they don't always need a uh, waterfall, don't always need whirlpool, so they'll swap them out when they don't need them. But it's just more convenient because I want to do the things. I want to progress and do all the things. Especially when it comes to the TM overworld things. Where they're like, uh huh, surprise. Rock smash. Like, here's the thing. Headbutt is a stupid addition because I've only ever gotten hoot hoots, hoot hoots out of trees. So it could just be I'm using it improperly, but it's kind of silly. I really wish, really wish that my, my queen could learn it. Could learn rock smash in lieu of headbutt. Now give me that. Or I don't know. Never melt ice. Can't carry any more items. God damn it. Fuck off. What do I throw away? Prevent stats reduction. Cool. Ice heal. Defrost the Pokemon. Max Ether. Burnt Berry. So apparently I just have a lot of freezing. I'm going to get rid of the Max Repel, because I never use Repels. Never Melt Ice is probably the power increase for Ice types. Oh, and from the looks of it, I could have just gone around, but screw that. I'm annoyed. Wait. I, got, I went so long with so many things of like, oh, Rock Smash, and I still didn't have Rock Smash. I just decided, screw it. I'm going to look it up, and good thing, because it was I could have gotten it a long time ago. I could have been using it a long time ago. So I'm happy enough to have gone grab it. And sure, it's just, oh, it was a shortcut. I didn't know that. I don't know how many breakable rocks are in this dungeon. I don't know how much breakable rocks have to do anywhere. Anyhow. You are not even worth killing. I swear to God, game, please. Let me run away. Let me run away. Thank you. Well, not really thank you so much as... Blah. Idea. Never mind. Baby. Give me a schneezel. Schneezel. Well, it's a Jinx. I guess I might try and <laughs> capture a Jinx, maybe? I guess I'll switch in Queen. I, I don't mind trying to catch Jinx, I guess. Never mind, it's dead. I'm too powerful for Jinx. But at least Queen leveled up. Okay, but plan. Wait, let me see. Yes, plan. My plan has failed. Alright, so... One, two, three, four steps. 
from the wall. I, I guess it worked. TM44! I wonder what it'll be. Ice beam, aurora beam? Go fuck yourself. Rest. Sleep for two turns to fully recover. Let me go! Yeah, there's just so many little things, little bothers. Ah! Sorry, that Pokemon's like, uh, three levels higher than you. You can't run away. Fuck you. Fuck yourself. Let me run away. This is such a stupid mechanic. It's a stupid mechanic. Just let me go. Oh, yeah, now it's using Endure. I guess I can catch a Swinub, I guess. Because now it's endured, it'll survive at one health. I'll, I'll catch it, I guess. Note to you, you stupid little name, don't get run away. If you do not come to heal with this one great ball, I will annihilate you. He has chosen life. Good for it. It uses the tip of its nose to dig for food. Its nose is so tough that even frozen ground poses no problems. You're gonna be called Scorpion because you said get back here or get over here. I'm probably never going to use you, but you have a name now. Good for you, let me go. That's one way. I got an item. Iron! Oh, you can't do that! You can't do that! You can't do it! It's very bad! You can't do it! I hate you! Well, let's see. Never mind that. Power's up. Ice moves. I have never been frozen. If I get frozen, I will just go to a Pokemon Center. Iron. It should increase defense. Who needs iron? Honestly, Queen. Because Queen isn't really affected by special effect things. And it's, well, at the same time, Suicune. I'm going to give it to Suicune. Box Pokemon get special treatment. There we go. Ah, and now we're on the other side. Ooh, a pro team! I think that increases attack. Or increases attack. Goes to Queen. Suicune uses special attack. Me want. Pee pee up. I have no idea what I'd use that for. I wasted it on Dragon Rage. Leer, Bubble, no, none of those. Okay, let's go let's look at moves. What do all the moves, what moves do people have? Moves. Alright. Strength, Flame Wheel, all these are decent. Strength, headbutt, da da da. Suicune, mm, Merlin, mm, Owl. Great, I don't want to use it. Now it's going to take up space in my goddamn hand. But at least I'm out of there. You don't want to fight? Wow, you came through the ice path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. I am hot shit. Blackthorn City, a quiet mountain retreat. Who's here? Fight me. Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a Dragonair? Want to trade it for my Dodrio? I, gu I guess that makes sense for this place, but dear God, that's a terrible Kanto trade. That is a terrible Kanto trade. 
Are you going to make your Pokemon forget some moves? What else do you want me to do? Trainer tips! A Pokemon holding a Miracle Battery will cure itself of any status problem. Move to leader's house! Ah, so if you want a Pokemon to forget a... HM. Why the fuck would you do that? When you have mostly an HM slave. Max repels keep weak Pokemon away from you. It's the longest lasting of the repel sprays. You can't buy Max Revive, but it fully restores a fainted Pokemon. Beware, it won't restore PP. The power points needed for moves. So you can't buy Max Revives. Interesting. And now I can buy Ultra Balls. I'm gonna buy a ton of Ultra Balls. I guess I'll buy more Hyper Potions, just in case. We'll talk to everyone, rest, and then I think, Aru, voices in my head, huh? I'm listening to my radio. What is wrong with you? A clan of trainers who can freely command dragons live right here in Blackthorn. As a result, there are many l legends about dragons in this town. That's probably like a Dratini. But yeah, who would train a Dragonair for a Dodrio? Like, I get it. Dodrio and stuff probably is, uh, is quite rare here. Dragon Masters all come from the city of Blackthorn. Blackthorn City Pokemon Gym Leader Claire, the blessed user of dragons. Claire, our gym leader, is waiting for you. However, it won't be... It would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Well, I guess since we're here, I'm gonna go rest, put stuff away into the my PC, and try fighting. Deep inside, far off Indigo Plateau, is the Le Pokemon League. I hear the best trainers gather there from around the country. There was this move I just had to teach my Pokemon, so I got the move deleter to make it forget an HM move. <coughs> Why not just let players overwrite HMs? Is it really that hard? <laughs> Pokemon get more friendly if you spend time with them. But yeah, it's just like, it, if you're gonna go the route of, oh, we should let people forget HM moves, why not just let them do it naturally? I think they actually let you do that later in the game, like, or later series, later in the series. So it's just like, why? Why not? Maybe it's because it was already programmed in, and they didn't want to, like, mess with it. So they're like, screw it, we'll add in another way to do it. But why not just alter how HMs, like... Actually, it wouldn't be that difficult. Just have HMs teach a move and then modify HM moves so that they will just work. <laughs> they work like normal moves. But we're going to try and beat Claire, and if we beat Claire, uh, if Claire isn't a nightmare, we will stop. All right, let's try. Lava. Oh, boy. Yo, champ in the making, it's been a long journey, but we're almost done. Ka Claire uses the mythical and sacred dragon-type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily, but you know, they're supposed to be weak against ice-type moves, and I don't have any ice-type moves. Your first battle against dragons. I'll show you how tough they are. Well, hopefully it'll be a nice litmus test on how dragony Claire will be, Paul. This will be a nice level up for Sunkern. Hmm. Go, Queen! At the same time, that's a high-level Dratini. Headbutt! Maybe I should bring, uh... Gyarados in. 
Gyarados might be able to Dragon Rage these people. But I'll see how far I can get before I need to resort to that. Okay, screw you, game. I know, it's a level... It's a fucking... Uh, split experience? Split experience and a first evolution. I know, I know, I know, but come on! I just want to level up my sun kern. I just want to level up my sun kern. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Oh! How dare you thunder paralyze my poor Pokemon! Cut. That's gonna be do decent damage, I think. Yep. Too bad for you. Your paralyzed didn't work. Dick. I'm gonna show you how powerful dragon types are gonna be. Single first evolution only. Why? It's not even a dragon air. I don't expect a dragonite, but come on! Luckily, I have Suicune in my back pocket. Let's go! And I get to level up some of my other Pokémon, too. Quit paralyzing my Pokémon! That's some damage. Merlin is fully paralyzed. Kill. Let's see. Let's look at your stats. How's your defense? Defense 24. You would be annihilated. I am annoyed. I am annoyed. I guess I'll give you lemonade, but I am annoyed. Paralyze is another one of those things that's just annoying. Gets in the way of the fun. I wonder what the ratio of Paralyze is. Fuck off! It is a chance. It is chance to be paralyzed. Why did it happen three times in a row? Also, wow, you really aren't missing. Chance. 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 Thank you. Paralyze is an annoying status effect. And in a way, that wasn't even really worth it. Friggin' evolution-based experience. My dragon Pokemon lost? My dragon Pokemon lost! It's like the game is trolling you. Ooh, here's a level 34 Pokemon, and it doesn't even give that good experience. I fought, like, level 30 coughing that give better experience than that Dratini. And it's because it's a... Oh, I was wrong, I guess. I thought it was because... I thought the experience was cut up by, like, oh, uh, first evolution, middle evolution, and then uh, final evolution. Apparently not. Apparently it's actually divided by first evolution, uh, like, of three. And then second evolution of three. Bleh. Disgusting! The boulder fell through. I can't allow a nameless trainer past me. Claire would be livid if I did. If I'm here, how am I a nameless trainer? Fran. 
If only you were stronger, Sunkern. If only you were stronger, but not today. Yeah, that annoys me. <laughs> but at the same time, this is gonna give me decent experience if it's not an asshole to kill. Headbutt! Make it flinch. Two for flinching. Ah, critical hit of that. And flinch! Aha! Also, not gonna let... Okay, Queen is on a rampage. Also, not gonna let a nameless trainer in. Bitch, you have one Pokemon. Aw, I lost. One Pokemon. Yep, we want to come through here. Boulder fell through. It's not as if we all use dragon type Pokemon. Then what's the point of your gym theme, Jim? Cody. Hey, Cody. Where's Zack? Are you insulting me? Well, let's play dumb. Mega Drain. Let's see how well it does. Huh. Not terrible. Oh! That's, that's gonna be super effective. Okay, no it's not. Why... Why does it seem like... Because it's a single evolution. It's the first evolution. I keep saying single when I mean meh. I keep saying single when I mean first. And now I basically do something like smokescreen. Damn it. If it was faster, I would feel safe. Come on, miss, 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 so I can attack you. Miss, 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 miss. Fine. Stupid level splitting experience stuff. Uh, it's a, see, it's a first evolution, so it doesn't give that much. Just do it by level, you assholes. It's so stupid. Oh, fuck you. Oh, now you use smoke screen. Quite annoying. And that would have been decent experience for Sunkern. Jerk. No, you don't get to actually play a game. Once again, would just love that experience share by now. It'd be very nice. Sorry, that's not gonna work. It'd be hilarious if it was super effective all of a sudden. Headbutt. This is the real queen of the sea. Because my, my queen can surf. Can't learn waterfall or uh, a whirlpool, but boy howdy can she surf. Go find Cody. Well, you are Cody. Go f <laughs> If only I had a dragon! Gee, that's almost like what I was saying. Alright. And then I think that should be it for this puzzle. Maybe. My chance of losing? Not even 1%. 
Well, you're a narcissist. Oh, are you Zack? No, you're Mike. Hey, Zack, we found where Mike is. If only you were a higher level, buddy. If only you were a higher level. Go, Merlin! Make these dragons rule the day. Oh, I forgot. That's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. You have shitty defense. Kill it in one shot or I'm going to have to revive you. Well, it looks like you're being revived. That's what I get for sending him out. And that's what he gets for having shitty defense. Headbutt. Of course you'd survive with one bloody health. Cut. Cut the dragon air! And of course, another crit. I don't get crits when they actually matter. That's odd. Well, I'm not gonna lose one percent, bleh! Jackass. Mem Okay, I'm wondering what the purpose of that boulder was then. But I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. Probably because the stupid psychic type has left his body go wither. Stupid Kadabra, you're supposed to get abs so you can be a Kadabra. Or maybe he just spent too much time dabbing. That could be it. Not enough ab, too much dab. And slowly I am leveling up my sun kern. And thus probably weakening my normal Pokemon. And still no idea why that boulder is there. Why you could go down that boulder path. Like maybe they expect you to push another in? I don't know. Thank you for not locking me out. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. They are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. I'm very serious. That's why I have Suicune with me. Two Pokemon, Lola. I think you're mocking me. We already know how this would go for Merlin. Go! Queen! Of course you'd miss them. Headbutt. Two for flinching. Ah, Dragon Rage. Well, as much as Queen has the uh, powerful power of a dragon, she's not the one, so you lose, bitch. Who's your second? Ah, I'm Dragonair, saving the Dragonite for the final showdown. Why is this one weaker than... At least I think it is. Uh, wasn't it level 37? Or no, they were 34. Yeah. Brain. My brain was just like, oh, yeah, man. I think it might have been because there was other level 37 Pokemon, and this is level 36. Bladey, bladey, blay. Bladey, 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 blay. You can survive another. Headbutt! Make it flinch! Instead it went Thunder Wave. Push through the paralysis, please. Ah, oh, fuck, that might actually kill. Survive, but fully paralyzed. And this is why we have Hyper Potions. Paralysis! is a stupid thing. Headbutt. Quit slowing down the game, Dragonair. Make it flinch. Oh wait, you can't because it went first. Blah. 
Have some lemonade. Nice and refreshing. Good for murder. You are full of dragon's rage, aren't you? With your one health, dragonad jerk. Cut. Yay! Your paralysis was worthless. You stupid, stupid dragon. Way to go! I'm going back to heal my Pokemon again. Because you jerks keep paralyzing my Pokemon. Luckily, gyms aren't a gauntlet or else... I wonder if that's why. That would be a funny piece of lore. Long ago, gyms were originally a gauntlet where a trainer had to go through many Pokemon trainers and then the gym leader in one go. But then gym leaders started being jerks and lining their lineup with status effects and a bunch of annoying Pokemon things. And in real life, if this were a real life thing, status effects and, uh, like, confusion and, like, uh... Not status effects, but, uh, well, yeah, confusion would last through in a real-life scenario. But also, stat reduction things would last a bit longer than they do in the game. So, yeah, that would be a funny piece of lore. It used to be a straight gauntlet, but then gym leaders were really, really rude. <laughs> so they had their privileges revoked. Now it's just make your way through. I'm ready to fight you now. I am Claire, the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. And as the next Pokemon Master, I will crush you. Dragonair out of the, out of the bleh bleh bleh. Out of blah blah blah. Go, Queen. After this, I think I'll stop swap training. How much damage is that gonna do? Actually, less than Dragon Rage. Headbutt. Make it flinch. Oh, you're a bastard, aren't you? Why would you use Seph? I know Seph, but at least now I know. Don't use Hot Spot! And, uh, no flinching for you because you already went. Nice, refreshing lemonade. Aren't I a stinker? Do you not have Dragon's Rage to do much damage, or what? Doesn't matter. Cut! And now you the Paralyze will activate. Let's see, how much damage does this do? An uneven amount, so I don't care to count. Critical hit at the end, like always. <laughs> Level up for the Queen. Another Dragoness coming through. Merlin, try to get out in front of it. Use your superior speed. Destroy the Dragonair. Psybeam. Is it just me or is there only one Dragon type in this game? God damn it. Why are you being such a bitch? with paralyzed moves. This is what you get. You already used up all your paralyze activations earlier in the gym, you fucking asshole. And another 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 dragon air. Another dragon air. Eh? Another dragon air. Eh? 
Surely you can last long enough for me to heal up the heavy hitters, won't you, Owl? Won't you? Won't you? If you survive well enough, I even let, may let you have a, a crack at defeating them yourself! Good job, using RNG to make them suffer for trying to paralyze all my Pokemon! Is that just your strategy? Oh. Ice Beam, Surf, Thunder Shock, Wave, and Dibbity. Fly! Ah, uh, you didn't go fast enough. You are a worthy sacrifice. Merlin, you are the next on the sacrificial board. You can take two attacks. Kill it. God damn it. At least he got an attack off, but he's still in risk of paralysis acting up. And that didn't do full damage. Well, there goes Merlin. He just wasn't fast enough. Alright. Queen, you're up. Headbutt. Why does this one seem faster? Does paralysis lower your speed? Definitely ruins my beloved... What is it? Flinch tactics. Oh, that's annoying. Won't you ever miss? And now, dra- oh. K king, 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 king dra- uh, not a dragonite? Oh. That's why. Well, this will be very helpful then. Go. Suicune! Probably not the... It'll probably have Ice Beam on it, like a dick. Use Gust. Using smoke screen, eh? Use leer. Annoying. Use leer. Hyperbeam. Luller, luring me into a false sense of security, are you? Very aggravating. Hyper potion. Use gust. We'll wait until it uses another hyper beam. There we go. But I was gonna. Well, that would have worked if I actually had uh, healed up Queen. But still, allows me a chance to recharge decently. Use another leer. God damn it. Leer. So if worst comes to worst, we can swap in Queen to do major damage. We're in danger territory. A hyper potion for Suicune. Oh yeah, you're probably gonna use. You know what? For the giggles. Queen! Come out here! It has to recharge. Headbutt! 
but it failed. Ta-da! I win my win. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. Why would you think there's a mistake, you jerk? I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon Use a challenge. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of a gym badge. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. This is a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reason why. Fuck the dragon gym. Even Whitney didn't deny me my badge. She just had an emotional breakdown, and then once she calmed down, she gave me the badge. You? You're just being an asshole. <laughs> no, there must be some mistake. I refuse to accept this. What an asshole. If this were a real world with a judicial system, I would sue you. Bitch. But I shall save and we shall stop for now. We technically have eight badges, but no, we have to go do another thing. Hopefully it doesn't include waterfalls. Well, it'll probably be waterfalls, so we'll probably... Who do we want to take with us? Honestly, we'll throw Merlin in. Merlin has been slacking a little bit, mainly because he dies so easily. So we might make another HM slave out of uh, Gyarados and make him Waterfall and Whirlpool. If that's even possible. And then we might explore that one place, diddly dee. The... The Mount Mortar? I think it is. Mount Mortar, yeah. Mount Mortar has a waterfall in there and I want to be able to explore it. So, next time we will explore Mount Mortar's waterfall with Gyarados because, I'm sorry, my poor Merlin buddy, but you have fallen behind. And we'll just continue leveling up Sunkern and hopefully they'll be useful sometime. They were actually doing pretty decent. It's mostly their glass cannon against super effective enemies at a low level, but still. But yes, what have we accomplished today? We caught Suicune! Yay! We also dismantled Team Rocket yet again. And do do do. We beat Price and got the Glacier Badge. And yeah, we got Suicune, yay! And we should have gotten our 8th badge, but Claire is a whiny loser, baby. So we'll have to do her stupid secondary challenge next time. But if you would like more from me, you can hit me up on YouTube at Neon Icy Wings for edited content occasionally, or Neon Icy Games, where I mostly post these streams as recorded formats. In case you missed out, you don't have to worry on FOMO. They exist permanently on that channel. If you want more from me elsewhere, you can also hit me up on Deviant, Twitter, Twitch, Tumblr, and Newgrounds for various things, mostly art. Except I also want to do art streams in the future, but that'll be future thing, future things to worry about. But yes, I've been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Pokemon Crystal Mild Annoyance Edition, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs>